So, uh, can chat let me know if uh, everything sounds reasonable, and then we'll uh, go ahead. Uh, a bug, if you would say something. Yeah, we good? Yep, hello. So, lads, give me something. All right, perfect. Thank you, Ted. I'm very glad you're here. Um, so, uh, how are you doing today? Uh, how's your weekend going? Yeah, it's going pretty well. Um, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Cool, man. How uh, about you? Uh, it's going. It's going pretty good for me. I had a um, my my power brick died uh, last week, and I got my new one today. So I'm 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 pretty happy about that. Uh, so there wasn't there, there, there was there wasn't too much downtime. Um, All right. Yeah, so um, I feel like the best place to start is uh, is uh, where we usually start the stuff that's been going on recently. Um, yeah, I'm going to interrupt you and hijack for a second because I'm just going to, before we get started, say that um, you're do I think you're doing a great job with this with this format, taking over from Cal. And, um, cheers, dude. Yeah, a lot of, I, I, think it's, I think it's a cool, a cool thing that you're putting in the effort to do to do this. So thank you. Cheers, cheers man. Um, yeah, I felt I felt like um, I felt like there was a there was there was a, a big hole left by uh, uh, left by the absence of main chat. I mean, I understand Cal's you know he's got like he's he's got a life to lead and stuff. And uh, I don't know. I felt like I know I I'm, I missed having having stuff to listen to, and so I thought, well, yeah, definitely. If no one else is gonna do it, then then why not? You know. Um, but thank you, dude. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Right, that's really kind of you. Um. Uh, Recent events. I, I mean, it's yeah, yeah. I was uh, well. Yeah. First thing I was going to do is I was going to ask you to what um, to what extent you keep up with um, events. Yeah. Are you are you very regularly uh, checking up what's going on, or not really? Uh, you know what? If I see it on if I see it get posted on Discord, then I see it. But I don't check the forums that often. I don't really check the rankings very often either. So um, I do. I do see world records and stuff, um, but I'm not as in tune with Goldeneye usually as I as I have been in the past lately. But um, of course, I've seen the recent triple header by Ace mm -hmm. of the two trains and the and the bunker uh, one double O. So impressed. You know what what is there really else to see in the past month? I guess. Um, well, there's. Um, I did check back and. So I always do it bef um, from the last nature, and I did see that uh, okay. there was uh, Illu's um, twenty-one on B1SA, uh, which just uh, which right. just which just snuck in there. I mean, what I mean, so um, as someone who is, I say, one of the foremost strap masters in the community, what did you make of? Uh, yeah, we could go back a little bit further. What did you make of the the nineteen and specifically the? Uh, the new straps which brought it about. Yeah, Ted, yeah, the, the new straps when you won. Um, so the, well, the 19, um, yeah, well, so that, that was a new strat too, but really it's not the strategy that, that stands out. It's really the, the gameplay and the execution, in my opinion. Yeah, I true. mean, the strategy is cool too, but, you know, it's not like you can just pick up that strategy and even get easily with it. So. Well, well, I mean, I uh, the reason why I brought up Illu is because it was um, it, I mean, yeah. it, it was a case of um, since since Ace has done that, there's obviously been quite an, right. quite an, an influx of people. Um, yeah, so he really had both. He really had both with the strategy change. I mean, it would have been cool if he just got 20 with the same with the new strategy, but to get 19 is is uh, I mean, it's just yeah, it's a I think like facility forty two, and uh, bunker one nineteen are two of the like prime examples of of golden eye just movement and speed running in my opinion. I think they're just, they're just awesome to watch. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I noticed I noticed when it got posted one of the one of the few people who was kind of like. I don't want to say raising an eyebrow, but just had more of a, um, had an opinion that, that wasn't simply just being absolutely blown away by what was going on was, uh, Joris, who was, um, who he kind of immediately was saying, oh, 
I wonder if I wonder to what extent eighteen is possible because he loses about half a yeah. second, half a second blot on the ending. Yeah, um, yeah, d definitely true. It doesn't take away from the thing is like the the first ninety percent of the run is is it's flawless. Is really yeah, yeah, yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So yeah, maybe it, maybe if that. you did the exact same thing but then got a perfect ending, um, but still, the execution is just. Uh, is what makes that run, in my opinion. It could have been 19, it could have been 18. Still would have been... Yeah, I mean, like, it's, really yeah, the, it's like, the camera shots, isn't it? it like, it's, I mean, yeah, it's interesting, because I would say that... I mean, this is coming from me, who knows who knows dick about the level, but I would say that tw uh, 20 seems... Like, from 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 start to finish, you, I think 20, w 20 would be tighter. But I would say, yeah... Uh, 19 for the yeah the first 90 percent of it the execution is like is that is better so it's just an it's just pretty much like the pinnacle of gold knight of, yeah. of ocb but even with the even with a dodgy ending the start was so good that uh yeah it was still a 19. just the yeah the third camera the fourth camera i mean all the cameras really i just you know uh, mm -hmm. it's not it's not um who cares what the ending's like after you see those camera yeah. shots? And but yeah, and also, and the other thing to point out too is, that, you know, he he didn't have to go for 19 at all because nobody's getting 20 anyway, really. Um, well, I guess uh, with the new strategy, I guess the um, Grav knew about it, so probably would have tied 20. If, but still, like, Possibly. there's no there's no pressure for, on him. That's probably one of the least pressured <laughs> on tides yeah. out there because who else is going for it? But still, to keep pushing. Um, yeah, hats off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, I mean, that wasn't even the. That's not even the only um, uh, watershed with regards to Ace using a strat and then other people using it because uh, Irie recently got the Aztec 122 with yep. the with the Crouch Class strat as well. Yep. Um. Um, I spoke to. I was speaking to Mystic Cheese last time, and he was saying. Um, he was saying. I, w I was asking. I was kind of questioning him. Do you think that it's justified? You know the the fear that people have of, like, over the glass strat, and then he was saying, uh, "Yeah, like, it is to be honest." And yet, nonetheless, it's just. It's just funny how. It, all it takes is just somebody just doing it and. Even though people, nothing has actually changed, it just kind of inspires people to go for a new strat anyway. Yeah, that's good. And then with, so I don't, I don't know how hard or how frequent opens are with that strategy, but obviously you can see that there's still opportunity there. There's, there's, there's still time to gain by doing, uh, especially on double O, for example. You could, I mean, you can see it, but yeah. how hard is it to get? I don't know. Probably pretty hard. But still, it's there. So, and nobody's, you know, nobody's gonna do it until, I guess, somebody comes along and, and pushes it forward, yeah. and then you kind of have to if you want to get a, you, you want to get, get that touch. level of time. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, I, you know, I have, um, I have noticed when I go through these times in order, like, in order to look at this, that I. And I probably should actually start including some of the some of the perfect dark dark times as well. But I I don't actually know to what extent you uh, are familiar. No, with I mean I saw Will I saw Will's untied today, and um, not sure I remember any remember any other. It, I mean, he got the attack ship two hundred five. Oh, true. Yeah, like what a couple of days ago or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I I don't really um. Yeah, I, I don't really know what about Perfect Dark at all, to be honest. I've only played I've, the only level on Perfect Dark, Dark I've ever really played for any amount of time was Chicago Agent back way back when when I did a uh, season of League and I wanted to get I think I got 16 on there and it was worth like 40 points. It was like a I don't know hour long, two hour long thing, and then that's it. So I do have a Perfect Dark cartridge. But I didn't grow up with the game. Never really had it. Mm -hmm. Never. None of my friends really ever played it either. So just never got into it really. And I'm not to be. I mean, my times page is not even complete on Gold either. So I still have plenty to do on Gold Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, Joris. Uh, 
And I think that, well, uh, across both games, was the only player actually going like toe to toe with Ace. No, yeah, I mean, Will's, I mean, it's not surprising to see, I mean, Will gets world records, it's just a constant stream of Perfect Dark world records, so it's not, um, not to take away the achievement, but it's definitely not surprising when you see a, a new Untied come across, yeah. that, that I, it's Will getting it. I have to say, I was really surprised by the lack of fanfare for Attack Ship 205. I mean, even as someone who, like, um plays Perfect Dark casually rather than like speed speed runs it like I mean attack ship agent is like this kind of like mythical beast um whereas when he got it people were like oh congrats mate and and that was it so I don't know it, it's strange I, I feel as though um despite the fact that he's champion and everyone obviously knows he's amazing I still feel like um I mean it doesn't make any sense that he goes under the radar but that's how I feel sometimes um, the curse of a perfect dark player. Yeah, yeah, could be right. Uh, okay. Oh, but one more thing, we got to talk about the uh, bunker, bunker one double O, because ah, yeah, that's another example of a of a strategy that was out there. Um, so, somebody, I don't think anybody had tried it. Maybe people had tried it, but nobody had gotten a time with it or anything. But it's out there, and then just goes unused. But then Ace picks it up and. I don't know how how long he spent on it, but it looked run wise like a pretty ca like a pretty comfortable. I mean, he lost a bunch of time at the end, getting stuck on the guards and then kind of iffy warp and stuff. So, yeah, another another example where the strategy is out there and it just takes somebody to to try it. Let's make it happen. Um, yeah, and Ted, it's a uh, there's another Ted strategy by the way. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I remember when that one was. I remember when that one was unveiled and uh it seemed too good to be true but i guess it it was true like th by that i mean i think ted correct me if i'm wrong it's supposed to be 100 percent um boris pathing if you get to that that corner by the glass and then he'll go the right way every time so that's because I, I don't know what the odds are normally but uh, it kind of seemed like it was too good to be true um, but there you go it worked and, and maybe that's why people just didn't go for it. Like, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's kind of funny. He said like that. That's, an, that's another Ted strat. I guess Ted is kind of like the way Ace, Ace and Will. Ted, it, Ted is to strats what um, Ace and Will are to untied. Did we just, I think we just, just broken. Did he not know? He didn't know that Ace got this time with his strategy. Is this what I'm seeing? Uh, is this breaking news. <laughs> I think so. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. You can go watch the run real quick. It's only a minute and one second, so uh -huh. wow. <laughs> he didn't watch the run. Yeah, it's, oh, it's there. You go. It's a. It was a. It was a. It was the Ted Strat. Well, and by the way, it works. One of one of the many. Yeah. Oh, and then that, that's that, that's um. I guess um, we should also say that. Well, another notable time was that another Ted Strat. Well, no, the original Ted Strat. Mm. Uh, has been used on uh, on the emulator to get to get a, a world record. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. I didn't. I didn't. Wa I didn't see that run at anywhere, but I did see it mentioned. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and I know. I think like Boss tried that one for a little while or something. I, I'm sure. No, I'm sure that's not been actually tried to the extent that it could be as well. But. Um. Yeah. 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 yeah, that, yeah Ted, I still think that's a pretty. I still think that's a pretty wild story. I mean, what a. I just, I still remember the intro to that video, which I thought was absolutely oh the, yeah, the the like the um, uh, David Attenborough intro yeah all that build up <laughs> and then just like a hilarious video and then it but then it really was a real strategy too so yeah that, big fan of that um, yeah Ted um, he he um, Gold has got the world record now so uh, yeah um, it's official. Oh, and Scotty, yeah, Ted's is like living down the street from Ted, so uh, I don't know. If you guys, if you guys had a meet yet, uh, whatever, whatever. I'm getting sidetracked. Um, would you give me one second? I'm, I'm actually gonna uh, uh, close the door. I'll be back in like five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, well, 
what do you what do you want to call it? I still like Mandela Strat, but Mandela Strat is under underappreciated. Public service announcement for Mandela Strat. Um, uh oh, one day we'll one day we're going to see at least something with it. I'm uh, calling it Mandela Strat. It's OK Strat. Wait, Jarth, are you referring to the? Yeah, yeah, he's using the. Uh, yeah. I like the. I like. Yeah, I like the original name. Mandela Strat. Which yeah. Nobody liked, but I thought it was also funny. Uh -huh. The whole thing is just funny. Mandela Strat. M Strat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Uh, so yeah. So uh, to get into the to the meat and potatoes of everything, what uh, do you remember? What your first introduction to gaming in general was? Uh, yeah. I, I well, I first I first had a Sega Genesis, and that was really it. I think I was. I don't remember when I got it, probably six or seven, I'm guessing. But then, uh, never had a Super Nintendo. Friends had Super Nintendo. Never had an original NES either. Um, and then, so I went from straight from Genesis to N64. And then that was. I had some other consoles after that, but really, I mean, how can you beat N64? Indeed. So, I remember. Um, I didn't get. I, I was about a year late getting N64. I think I got it in '97 and um, got Goldeneye later on. But I remember finding first I found some speed demos archives runs of various things for Goldeneye. Um, this was and I basically used it to just figure out how to beat levels better because. If you're casually playing Goldeneye as a kid, it's actually it's kind of a lot easier to beat some of the double O levels if you go if you use the speed strategies, like especially Depot or something. It's just the faster you go, kind of the easier it is to live. Yeah. But then um, I remember the first run that I ever saw that was uh, like an amazing run to me, and I don't know what I was seeing on Speed Demos Archives. I can't really remember, but I saw the uh, Wilder Facility Double O One Hundred One. Which I think at the time I probably I couldn't get probably under 125 or so, and then uh, so that was like I was like wow I didn't I didn't even know that people were out there playing the game to this level, so that was I don't remember what year that was but it's whenever 101 was the world record, uh, that was kind of the first time I ever. Yeah, I mean we could we could probably look that it. up. Probably I think it was probably up. yeah, 2001 maybe I don't know. Okay. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. A while ago. Yeah, um, yeah. but then so I kind of had followed the elite a little bit. Just every year or so, I would like watch some of the top runs. But oh, it's not Lost Media, Joris. I'm pretty sure I have that run. Okay, here we go. We can save the 101. I'm pretty sure I have it. Because, oh wow! Um, Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Because Jor Joris is going to be very pleased. Yeah, Wilder's Fac 00101. I'm pretty sure I have somewhere. So I'll try to find it. Um, because I have it because he he sent it to me at one point. Oh, you like you, you like you, you got in touch with him? Yeah. What, what, when, when, news. when 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 was that at the time or like more recently? No, or? this was no, this was like a few years ago. Uh huh. Okay. It, it's when we were talking about um. Hmm. I don't remember what we were talking about. Some, some maybe runway or something. I have no idea. But yeah, he sent it to me at one point. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's An original, point. original quality, I guess. So yeah, I have it. I think I'll find it. Uh, so, well, so that would have been uh, 2001 when. Is that uh, it? I didn't look it up. When, whenever that was, yeah. Well, and then I remember. Yeah. So then I remember checking back, and then the time went to 59. I remember that. Um, I don't think he. Who got the fifty nine? I should have. I should have the history up. Somebody got the fifty nine, and then Wilder uh, I, also I, I, had I'm, it. I'm bringing it up now, so I'll be able. To oh wait, wait. It. I think it was. Was it Randy Bukima? Let's have a look. Uh, this is uh, uh, which which difficulty? Yeah, double O. Double O. So let's see. So uh, yeah, Walter got uh, one hundred and one in two thousand and one, yeah. and yes, Randy got there. 50, you go. Got fifty nine later in two thousand and one. Yeah, and then so, 
that was kind of I I know I guess that was really why I joined the Elite and started really speedrunning later on is just because I don't really remember what made me decide to start going for some times, but I just figured, you know, let's give it a shot. And I originally just wanted to get uh, Facility 59 because I thought that was... I mean, if you had if you had been able to get Facility 59 back in the, back in the day when everybody was going over to each other's houses and playing and stuff. I mean, that would have been... Everyone would like, have been mind blown. Un unbelievable. Yeah, they would have... I mean, you never would have believed that you could get a time like that because people could barely even get 205. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, times have changed. Now 59's not even... not even worth talking about, but yeah. still cool. I mean, uh... Yeah, I don't even know what the point was. Time. It's definitely below 59, but, um... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, so you, you say you used to check up on the Golden Eye World Records, at, at like, kind of once in a while, basically? Yeah, 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 every, every once in a while, just to, just to see what was going on. Uh, and so, um, what happened to, I don't know, when you went from just casually browsing to, let's, let's get into it? Yeah, I think I don't really remember to be honest. I, I there was a period where I started watching uh, Super Mario sixty four runs on Twitch. Would that have been like uh, Siglemic? No, I didn't watch Siglemic. When I started watching, it was like cheese mostly. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't. I wasn't early enough to for Siglemic. But I just what just like randomly I would watch that, and then I was like. Well, let's see if anybody's running Goldeneye, and then I would find some occasionally, um, and I just... Do you remember figured, who? Give it a shot. No, I don't remember who. Well, actually, you know what? I will say, I think one of the first people I ever saw streaming Goldeneye was Shibby, trying oh, for okay. SA-22, and I don't know if he ever got it, so it's maybe a tragic tale, but yeah, that was the first... That's like a runway SA-22? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. And I remember because he was playing with two controllers, and I was like, "What?" Like, I, so this is I. I would watch the videos, but I did not know even about 1.2 or anything like. So I was never going to be able to go as fast as, as, as the world records or anything because I was playing 1.1 back then. So I didn't know about 1.2 or 2.x until, up till around then, probably like 2017 or something. I don't know. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um. Uh, and so, do you remember the first, uh, well, your first, I don't know, like, well, no, let's say, you, I don't want to say, I was going to say your first serious time. You can decide what, how to take the word yeah. serious. If I, if you look at the, I think first I started by posting all the time, I just went through the levels on my cartridge and just posted all the times <laughs> without a date. So these could have, so those are just whatever they were. A lot, actually, a lot of my times page is probably still that. Like, so if you ever look and there's something that's like two minutes slower than world record, that's, uh, well, it could be a time that I just got last week, or it could be one from like 1999 or something. So I don't remember, but the first one, um, well, the first world record I got was, was runway 22 agent, as I'm sure was the case for many people. Um, how, how, how was that? Like, how uh, how difficult did you find it? Uh, yeah, I, no, I got it pretty quick, to be honest. I remember when I got it, it was... I got it on... I had this microscopic little CRT, and it was... I think it's like a... It's about the size of a... I don't know. Like a big shoebox, almost. Like, it's, it's very small. <laughs> so I got it on that. And then after that, I got... I was like, okay. So I went and got... Uh, my big CRT from my parents' house, and I put that in the basement. So ever since then, I've, I've been using that. But 22 was pretty quick. To, uh, SA 23 was the first point. Um, I think it was nine points when I got it. And then that was easy. I mean, that took very little time. So then I immediately went into wait, Agent 22 like after that. Wait, uh, SA 23, did you say? Yeah. Uh huh. That, no, that's that's that wouldn't be worth nine points. It's still worth like. 30-something points? Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. No, no, Agent 23. Uh -huh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah. 
So I, so that was very like super easy, and then I just went into I might have gotten SA twenty three in between, but I went right into Agent twenty two after that basically. Mm -hmm. Um, and at a, at, so and at, like at, at that point you had no, well, but did you gravitate towards runway from the get go, or was no. that just kind of you are you? No, I think I played. I think I actually played Depot. SA and double O was like the first levels I played. I don't know. You'd have to go back and I'd have to go back and see what order I'm posting things in. But um, I remember playing Depot early on. I remember playing facility. I like facility. I played that early on, but wasn't really good enough to to play it. So kind of move move past that. I, 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 Runway was kind of a good intro to two point X because it's not very complicated. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what it is. And then also the the grenade juggling is kind of a it's kind of a unique skill set that yeah. doesn't feel it doesn't feel like you have to be very good at Goldeneye to get to get good at juggling. If that makes sense. it's just totally different than anything else. Yeah. So maybe that maybe that was why. Do you, do you remember uh, like when you first started running? Did you have any particular goals or? Uh, no, like yeah, I, want, I just or? wanted. Yeah, my only goal was I just thought it would be cool to have a world record, and then I'll just, and that's it. Because, like, you know, I've been following GoldenEye records on and off throughout time, and I just figured, okay, it'd be cool to get a world record. But so, didn't so, really so you, plan so, on doing much more than that. So you got Runway 22, your, your first, well, was, uh, yeah. was, was Runway 22 a world record when you got it? Yeah, I'm, well, of course. I'm, I'm joking. Yeah, okay. yeah, of course. Uh, um... Um, but yeah, you got runway twenty two, and then so you, you got your world record. You achieved your goal, and so yeah. What then? Um, I I think after that, I was like I'm trying to remember. I I don't really remember if it was during league or not. But I then I decided okay, I'll get the boring four at least. Um, because those just seem pretty easy, and of course everybody says. They're free. And were they? Like were they? Minutes. Were they? Were the other three all world records as well? Yes, the they time. were. Yeah, <laughs> I got bunker seventeen was the next one that was a uh, world record. Um. Oh, Ted asked. Uh, uh, what, well, uh, damn, what damn year fifty-three. Was this? Uh, I think I don't remember. Roughly. Twenty eighteen. Okay. Twenty eighteen, probably. Yeah, probably twenty eighteen. But no, a damn fifty three was not a world record. I don't believe. I don't think I got that one as a world record. Uh -huh. I mean, I think I Carl just, got it in like December two thousand seventeen. So that, that yeah, checks out. I just missed that one. Yeah. <laughs> but the other three were, or the other. Oh no, archives wasn't either for me. Sorry. Yeah, I okay. guess I'm just just wrong. I was thinking surface. Uh, I was thinking surface two agent was a world record, and then then that one got taken. But I did get that one as a world record. Was that around um, the same course, time as that boring for? Yeah, that was that was in there. Around the same time period, I think I got that one right after archives. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So you achieved your goal, and then you thought, okay, well, I've got a world world record. Might as well get yeah, and then it's like, and you achieve and the next it's like, one. okay, well, here's another world record that this one seems kind of easy. So let's try that, and then that being surface two. So then you get that one, and then now you ha now I have I don't know what three world records and then you just kind of think you know what else could I get I'm kind of always looking for the next easy thing to get at that point and I think it was league two so I'm also trying to get points so I played a bunch of different stuff for like 40 or 50 points too but uh -huh. um wh whose team were you on the captain of that team I don't remember actually <laughs> okay. I have to go way back in time. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, it, it might have been... I don't remember. Sorry, League Team, yeah, 2018. Yeah. Um, so, okay, and so you, you were kind of getting... Um, you were kind of getting some, some decent times, some, you know... Uh, the, I mean, I'd say Boring 4 are kind of... <clears throat> You know the threshold between you know beginner and uh, mm -hmm. intermediate times. Um, so like, was there? Uh, I well, I was gonna say the one I, I, I the one that sticks out to me most 
of I think your early times is your uh, is your Aztec times. I, I I checked before the but before we came on stream and like I think at least a couple of the Aztec times you got were worth like seventy plus points. Yeah. At the time. Yeah. That's so true. would you say that was your first kind of big uh, step up? Probably fair. I don't think they're actually as good. As, they they were undervalued. They were overvalued at the time. So that's kind of why I played it in the first place. What, what makes what, what makes you say like? That? I think I have one forty. What do I even have? One forty five or something on double O. I don't even remember what I have to be honest. Nothing. Nothing great. But it was when uh, mainframe came out, and it seemed pretty easy to get. Around, you know, like an average time was still worth sixty, seventy points. So that's really the. Only, I wouldn't say that that was a huge step up because the quality of the runs is not very good. Okay. I think yeah. when I pl started playing for Runway SA22, that was probably the real time where I thought this is. That was the first time that I tried that I thought was actually a good time at the time, for for what I thought. Like you, you would you, you say Runway 22 is like it, like it's, it's, it still stands up. SA22, yeah it. Yeah, because I think it, and it's still not easy to get, even today. Yeah. Um, but those Aztec times are just easy to get, so uh, that's what I would say. I, that was the first, and I thought that was the first one I did where I thought I might not even get it, and I might just give up. If I if I start trying for it, it's possible that I just won't get it. There are all the other ones I figured. There's like 50 people that have each one of these, so I'm sure I'll get it. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember how many people had SA22 at that time, but it was probably. I don't know. Not not that many. I, I wouldn't. In the teens, many. maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Okay, so so yeah, you would have been reasonably reasonably early, early on getting in there. Then. So I mean, what did you, um was there some was there some kind of particular thought process that went into what like what uh, went into going going for that? Not really, to be honest. It's 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 just because yeah. Uh, it made sense since I already had agent. I figured it probably wasn't too different, but no real. I didn't have a. I didn't have a real reason for doing it. But then, kind of. I'd always thought that agent twenty one would be because it, because of the way that everybody was. Um, not sure if it was possible or not. I figured that well, I need to get tw SA twenty two at least first if I'm going to be good enough to get. Well, well, well so, 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 so you were thinking about it even then. I started thinking about twenty one. Mm, I think it was like early twenty eighteen, so, early to mid twenty eighteen. Yeah. So uh, from, right after I got right after I got twenty two. So from. Do you think that it's well? My my guess would be is that you know Carl he got down fifty two, then um, yeah, then I think it was Arkas fifteen next, then Bunker one sixteen. So was it kind of like the? It was almost like what was the word? Uh, conspicuous by its absence, the um, uh, like the fact that Runway twenty one was the was the one of the boring four that. Not only was that, he not going for, but just everyone was just saying, "Yes." Yeah, yeah not, not even that because I was trying to I was trying to find ways to get twenty twenty one before before that well, before Carl got uh. started getting all his times. So it wasn't that wasn't really the reason. It was really just because everybody was kind of joking about it as if it wasn't it was ridiculous to even think about it. So just that attracted me to it. Uh huh. Just thinking, like, you know, you try to be a little. How 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 funny would it be to get this time that people don't think is even possible? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. As, for somebody like me, who's not a good player anyway, especially especially back then. So th that was kind of it. I just thought it would be. Like okay, that would be a cool, okay. a cool uh, thing to do. So um. So you were thinking about twenty one before you even got twenty two. Well, I don't remember when did I get twenty two. Um, so right, like at the same time period, right, right along that, like that as I was playing for twenty two, um, because I didn't. It wasn't very hard for me to get twenty two either. So, as somebody who doesn't know anything about the game, you might think like 
Oh, that wasn't that wasn't very hard. So, how hard could how hard could one more second be? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah famous. Okay. All right. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Famously stupid thought, but yeah. Well, uh, well, yeah. I mean, obviously not in your case, but um. Uh, so, so, it, so it started then, and so I mean, I mean, I guess it's probably yeah. a, good, a good place to start with asking. Okay, so the seeds were the seeds were planted around then. So. Yeah, and so I will say this would this would date it. I actually can look this up now because Goose had a is runway twenty one possible video, which I'm sure everybody knows. Um, let's see when that video was posted because I'm in that video, by the way. Here's a, here's another breaking news. Uh huh. Um, in, in, what, because, in what capacity? Because he posted in lobby. Does anybody have like ideas for twenty one or something? So I sent. So I posted a video of one of the runs I had where I do four, or I do a juggle where I have four uh, boosts in the first set, kind of, and then I think three in the next one. But I think I only hit two of them, so I think it's. Anyway, but it's four in the first one, and it's not very good. Like, it's sloppy, but it is a 22, at least. So that was kind of like the best working shell that I had at the time, so I just sent that, so that's in the video. Mm -hmm. So I don't remember, and I, yeah. So I, I was already working at it, like, well into that. Did, like, did, you, did, did, did you check when that video came out? Um... I did search for it. Funny enough, it's not coming up for some reason. Yeah. If, uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody else. I, I, like, my, my, I have a feeling it would have been around. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's uh, September 2018. There you go. So, yeah. So, I think I started working on ideas in like May 2018. Uh -huh, May okay. or June. Yeah. Um, and was it kind of more of a slow process of. Kind of steadily finding things and then just yeah eventually it was like believing more in it or, or what like how did it go for some reason i always believed that it was possible some way because i just didn't something never sat right with me about taking a big like everybody you can't fit more than this many boosts on the runway and i just always felt like you you definitely can yeah because you just have to figure out how to do it because it's the same kind of thing with a lot of the, a lot of the way that like development goes where whoever I don't know and I still don't know whoever figured out the original juggling strategy would that have been boss um maybe I don't know I don't well because uh, I mean I, I, I mean a 23 was was a uh, look down boost and boss was I think the first one to to, to yeah. juggle for 22 well definitely the first one to get a to get 22 obviously with it but I don't know if, like, who knows back at the time, was it, like, being discussed? And then yeah, he just was the best that's player true. to get. I don't know. So I don't know if he invented it. Whoever invented it, though, if it was him, um, that's, like, that's a really cool strategy, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, especially compared to lookdown boosts. But also, it's like, how do you know that's the optimal way to do it? I doubt that it is. Um, maybe it is, but I kind of doubt it, because did they really happen to just stumble on to the most efficient way to juggle and so, fit the, so the most it, like, number of boosts. It really was just intuition rather than it having any kind of like hard evidence to support. Just being, yeah, no, I mean, I didn't have a good enough understanding of, of the game anyway at the time to really know, but just, yeah, just, I don't know. Mm. I'm like, I, I don't really think that that, I, I doubt that that old strategy just first, like there wasn't juggling before that, as far as I know. Yeah. So the first instance of juggling, juggling just happens mm -hmm. to be the perfect way to do it and I, I don't know didn't didn't seem likely like it, so it, that... it, 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 it's funny you mention that because you know when i was asked, when i was asking the question i was thinking um oh like how did you do this and like what did you test and would you experiment and stuff like that but it's interesting that like you, you go back to <clears throat> i know you were thinking of oh well like who actually invented the juggle like originally because I, I remember i can't remember in what capacity or like, what exactly we were talking about but you you um you, like you have said to me in the past that you feel like like Walter and Boss are the true goats of the game because they're the one who've like figured like so much of the stuff that makes what we're doing yeah. even possible. 
Yeah, just stuff that you don't think of. I mean, even like the hut boost is, is is an awesome strategy to figure out. I don't know who figured that out, obviously, either, but stuff like that that we take that, we I have take a feeling that was, that, was, uh, that was Randy Bukima. I wouldn't be surprised because he also, and then we'll get into this too, but he had the double hut boost, and I know Boss had a So there's two versions of the double hut boost that I thought were going to work as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you don't use it in the 21. Because they don't work, I don't think. Uh-huh. But they do look cool, but they don't work. Uh -huh. um, at least it doesn't save time. At least in my in my in my experience, there might be a way to save time with it, but I could never get it to save time. Uh -huh. But that was so that thinking that well maybe I can fit one more juggle in somehow, and I knew I could because I had gotten four in the first set, and you could do f so you just fit, and it fits into the same time frame because you throw it way faster. Um, that doesn't actually really work because it's you're not gonna your line is gonna be all over the place doing that. But at the time I thought, well I'll just fit one more here and I'll just add a hut boost and then I'll just you know that's it. Like you just have to start fitting more in wherever wherever you can. Um but then of course you start testing the things and it it's a lot more difficult. So because they don't work they so, don't quite work as you as you think. But so I don't know, maybe a good way to talk because for me when I'm thinking about this, I'm just kinda of thinking of it as just like a block in that you you started in like 2018 and then you just worked on it and then in 2020 you got it but would you would you say what would you say with the would you be able to list what you feel as though were the major um yeah. like watershed moments in the yeah the, the grind i think there's yeah there's like two or three maybe maybe it's three but the first one definitely well one i figured out the eventual juggled strategy of just continually throwing them what was that first I don't, that was the first thing i've i've i honed in because i thought like if i can't figure out a way to get more more juggles in then it's not worth it's not worth it anyway so that was the first thing i f i figured out then i thought um i thought i had it so i spent a, i don't know how many how much time going for going for runs with a double hut boost and that juggle so i have a ton of 90 runs where i'm getting the double hut boost and then seven juggles and then 22 just time after time after time and it's really annoying because this should easily be 21 because i'm getting nine boosts and i can get 22 at this point with five boosts like consistently so what's going on well then um at a certain point, I started. I got the Game Shark. Um, there's like a Game Shark timer code that Henrik invented. Uh, that I so I started using that to test my starts, and I'm st and I'm realizing that I'm actually not saving any time with this double hut boost. So that was that was uh, annoying because now I'm getting nine boosts, but it's actually like the pace of eight or less. So then I thought, okay, well maybe it's not. Maybe it's not possible, or maybe I just have to get a lot better in order to save time with with the double hut boost. So I spent some time, a lot of time, practicing the well, start. Well, I mean, what, what was your what, what was your the did you have any theories at that point, or were you just kind of clueless well, why? as to why, yeah, why it wasn't? No, I, and I still don't know why. Well, I just still don't really know for sure why the double hut boost doesn't save time. To be honest, because it looks like it should, yeah, but it just but it just doesn't. I don't, I don't and it's like you hit the set. At least this is with the Bukema one where you prime the second one and then when the first one hits you you are looking down and it automatically releases the second one and you just get the second boost as you're going around the corner kind of mm -hmm. so i'm like maybe it's because you're going around the corner but it just doesn't work i don't know why um and the, the way i'm timing this is when you hit the corner of the next wall i'm just looking at the decimal on the screen okay oh and so it, so it was just, no splits you were just having to do it no i didn't have splits it. Well, yeah, I would like go back and watch the recording and see what my ah, okay. what my decimal was because it shows the decimal on the screen on that ROM, and it just always was the same pace as a single hut boost. So it was like I wonder why. a little de a little defeating, but still thought I probably can save time with this anyway. I just have to get better. So then I s spent a lot of time working on my um, huts. Still couldn't save time with a double hut boost. Then I have then I then I remember I started testing. Uh, an exciting moment was I started testing with grenade launchers to see well can you can I even 
maybe you can just get it with eight boost and I don't need the double head boost at all and then I did get it with that with the grenade launcher 80 so that was cool because the grenade launchers are super laggy as well like you, you pull out the double grenade launchers and it's it's like the game goes to one FPS uh -huh. for a second but still got 21 with that so then I figured okay I guess I only need eight um, and we'll just forget the double hut boost and then eventually um, I you know I dust it off and then put it away here or there if I think it's something new to try I would try new stuff still and then in it most of it doesn't work and then can that's kind of how it remember, works. Do you remember any of the stuff that you tried? Just different juggles. Like, I was thinking that I could uh, blast one in the air for a little while. Like, it doesn't work, by the way. But just, Wait, just stuff in, like that. shoot one in the air. Tried shooting them in the air when they were coming down to be oh, able to wow. uh, explode it a little bit sooner. Like, right at the end, where you just need to get one more oh, in before yeah, the plane. yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't really work. Um, just a bunch of stuff like that. And then maybe, like chaining one onto another where uh if one's if you're about to get boosted by one you throw another one real quick in front of you that maybe you could get a double boost off of it no that doesn't work either just stuff like that um mostly right at the end because like at the end you can just try whatever if you need instead of getting one you could hopefully just luck into two more and then you'll yeah, yeah. save a uh, you know full point three but none of that worked and then eventually uh, I decided to get, I needed the EverDrive with the splits ROM because the, I figured eight was like, so, it's so tight that I have to make sure that everything is, is going to work. But I figured if I had the splits ROM, I could then test the first part and the second part independently and figure out if the two halves would fit together to, to work on 21 because I keep getting... It's it's pretty rare to get a to, uh, get, to get a run that has the perfect juggle, um, but when you do get it, if it had a bad start, then obviously you're not going to get 21. But you also have no idea what pace it was, because it, even if you're playing with the splits ROM, you're still looking straight up at the sky, and you can't really tell. There's no frame of reference for for where you are. Yeah. <clears throat> so I decided to get the EverDrive. Uh, worked with Ted on that, obviously, to come up with like where. The splits and he made the so the splits ROM was a huge was a huge boost because he made this he basically made the the ROM so that it would well he did two things one he did it he did one where it uh, you didn't have to build your your speed in the opening cinema so that made, let me just get more runs per minute or yeah. whatever because you I just immediately could mash through the cinema and not have to wait. Um, and then also this, and also it, it, we, like I, we picked which spots the different splits would be, and so that's when I, I was figuring out if I have this pace start, which usually like ten point. If you're looking at this, if you have the splits wrong, by the way, if you're listening, um, the this the corner split is where you hit the corner of the first like wall of the long runway straight away. Oh, so yeah, that needs yeah. to be that needs to be ten point six something or lower, and the best I ever got was ten point four nine. But um, side note, you can't really it, that's pretty lag lag dependent, and you can't really um, ten, whether you get ten point four nine or ten point six five, it could be the same quality, but you might just get a lucky low lag start, and it's going to be faster. Mm -hmm. Anyway, ten point six five is a good is like the pace you want basically. Uh, or lower and then the second half I just started recording how consistent I was with the pace and what they would be and it turned out that basically it's right at 22 point like zero zero right on, uh, and so it seems like it could if you just got a perfect run um, it could happen but it also seems, even in kind of the best case scenario, it seems like it's pretty tight and it maybe just won't happen. And then that's kind of where I was for a while. Um, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, like so. Uh, um, when when you say, "Oh, that's where I was for a while," as in, were you just kind of like 
Were you, were you kind of like ruminating at that point, or was there any point? Just like, you, well, I need like, something else. Right. Yeah, I need something else. What, I need. To well, basically, what, what I'm asking, like, was there any point when you were actually like, geez, this may actually not happen? Or, or did you always I, kind of believe? I believed it was possible. I didn't always, didn't always know that. I figured like I'm, you know, maybe I'll just, I'll just. It's not worth all this, all this effort, and I'll just. You know, forget about it for a while, and then I would come back to it. I think of something new, I'd go test it, and then I would like play again for a little while, and then uh, just kind of on and off. Basically, I wasn't like constantly playing runway for two straight years. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, do, do you have any but, idea of how many hours you might put in overall? Yeah, I don't really know actually, um, especially because a lot of the stuff wasn't really doing runs. It was like trying out new ideas and stuff yeah yeah yeah. so i don't i don't really know yeah and i, I guess but, that people like people tend not to time their like experimentation sessions yeah but i yeah i don't know it, it was for the actual so i'll tell you this the, for the by the time i figured out the actual final strategy it didn't take that long uh -huh. I think it took I think it took uh, less than a month and and so you tell me if i'm correct or not but from the bits and pieces I've been able to put together, it was, um, it was Ace's SA-22, yeah. where he kills the, he kills the hot guards, that was so the missing piece of the puzzle, was that right? Well, so here's what it, here's what it was, they were, I think Ace and Callie were both going for SA-22 look down, um, because they figured that that was the quickest way to get it, and they both didn't have it, I think, at the time, and then Ace had a... 22-4-0 ratio fail. And so that's, in and of itself, is kind of remarkable because I didn't know that 22-SA-4-0 would be possible. But so I'm like, oh, let me see that video. So he posts it, and I noticed, like, it's not even that good of a run. Like, there's no way this should be 22 pace mm -hmm. with only four boosts because it's like, I mean, it's good, but it's not like absolutely perfect it's it's fun it's funny like that like it's kind of it's interesting that often that's that's the that's the spur for something when yeah. like there's well there's been multiple times when i've seen somebody and they want their reaction to the run is like wow like how was that excess yeah. time or whatever and like that's so often a kind of a eye-opening moment yeah and for how much i'd been playing runway at the time I just, I just knew right away. Yeah, you I'm must. Like, well, there's, there's must something, have. there's something about this that doesn't make sense, and I have to figure it out because that's going to be the key to whatever he's doing here is going to save some amount of time because there's no way this should be twenty, twenty two pace. Um, yeah. And then so, to back up a little bit, there's also what I did was I had gone through the rankings and watched all the twenty twos and all the SA twenty twos, and like. I think I had a spreadsheet that had like notes about about them. Wow. And I and I just noticed that there's a lot more SA twenty twos that are five O ratio than there are agent. And you could say like, well, because most of the agents are six O. And you could say like, well, yeah, because when people go for SA twenty two, they're better, so they're faster, so they don't need like their huts better so they just are a better player so they only need 50 so they probably just get it that way but actually if you look at the quality it's not really the case cuz a lot of the agent 22s are actually pretty decent quality runs but they're just all 60 for the most part there's some 50s but not the case with SA22 and actually a lot of the SA22s aren't even that great either cuz you know you you don't know when you're going to get even if you're a better player your actual 22 still might might not be like it might be a below average run. Yeah. You just happen to hit all the juggles. But so that's always had been in the back of my head. I'm like, I think SA is faster, but I, but I don't know why. And uh, then can, I remember. Can I can I ask you like just to just to just to, to, to pick you up on that? Are there yeah. any? Um, was there anything that you, uh, when you were making like the spreadsheet of all the twenty twos, um, are there any runs in particular that um you found interesting or like stood out? Yeah. I guess the only thing that really stands out, all the, all, a lot of the early 22s are kind of crazy, and they're, they're, they got way less crazy after 
maybe like the first I don't know how many. A lot of the a lot of the early ones are like just wild runs. Like how so? Just chaotic and there's like uh, I think even oh I'm trying to remember. I think is it aces where he just he's just like throwing grenades everywhere and it's not even it's just it's, it's, it, it's just yeah. madness. Yeah, yeah, I think he's just throwing them. It might be his. I, I forget who. I think I, I think, think it's on pal, isn't it? Yeah. Uh huh. And he's just yeah, just like they're just wild. But uh -huh. and also kind of the quality of the you can tell the quality of the huts kind of goes down after the first group of them as well because obviously it's like the best players in the game getting it originally and then it becomes a junior time after that but. Uh, well there's a little question in the comments for someone trying to get um 22 essay uh whose huts would you recommend watching other than your own from uh, sayonara oh um well i mean that, that I was mean, that's kind of t tying into what my what i was trying to get out with my question like basically like okay. was there anybody in particular who's whose runs you were impressed with you know like you know in in dam you know like it was always a dan a dan savones that was yeah. like the kind of gold standard when no, watching think... all the runs was there anyone who you were very impressed okay with? i would say honestly bosses boss deserves a lot of credit for the sa22 because that's that was like a his original sa22 because um I th I'm, pre I'm like I'm pretty sure he has a fairly optimal hut, and then people kind of drifted away from it, where they're throwing it at the wall and it's like the first grenade you they're throwing it at the side of the wall. You really want to throw it straight down. This is the, this would be my biggest advice. You want to throw it straight down and full look down so it bounces off the ground, not bouncing off the walls and going wherever, because then it puts it on the on the ideal place and it's also the best line to the door. So he had that right right off the bat. Um, and then that's a pretty high standard. Like the first, the, the first SA 22 is a really high quality run, to be honest. It wasn't like he just lucked into it. Yeah, he yeah. clearly had it. He clearly had it down at that point, but that's, that's my biggest advice. Just whoever, anybody, I don't know who does it that way, but anybody who does it that way, probably ACE does it that way, I'm guessing. But, um, I don't remember off the top of my head mm -hmm. if there's anybody else, but really bosses, bosses hut was the was the one that I watched. I, get, probably... I, I, get, I guess the, the huts on the, um, with, with the look down nades are probably pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just the best way to do it, in my opinion. So I think you should do that, because otherwise you'll be... Look down. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, also, it also, I think, is a little bit less laggy, because you're looking down and not seeing the whole runway at the start. I did... Um... Uh, well, my only experience, the only person whose grind I watched from start to finish on SA was um, uh, uh, Water Temple Fiends, and he, I think he tried, he tried look, he tried look down nades for about like thirty or forty hours or something like that, and he just couldn't get it, and he he, he switched to the juggle, and then uh, he got it soon. Oh no no no! I don't yeah I don't mean look down nades for for the whole thing. I mean for the just the hut boost. Oh, got you, got you. Okay. Yeah. So to talk about that, I would say on look down. If you're using like look down nades up instead of juggling, you need that last guard boost if you do that strategy, and that's pretty rare actually on SA. And I think it, I think what it turns out is that it you'll get a chance about once every ten hours or so to get that boost. Um, and of course, if you juggle, you can control yourself whether you whether you need it or not. Because you don't need the you don't need an extra guard boost if you're juggling. So that's that's kind of the difference. Like, if you think it's if you're like a really good player, like when I when Ace and Kelly both got SA22 look down, it took them about ten hours each. I'm pretty sure, and that would be like what your expectation would be if you had a good hut, solid battery throw, and everything, and your lines are good and everything. It should take you about ten hours to get it. Because uh, I think that's about how often you're going to get that last boost that you need. And then if you juggle, it could take. 15 minutes, or it could take, you know, 50 hours, depending on how good at juggling you are. Uh, are you a believer in uh, 4022? 4022? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think I've, I've done that already. I'm pretty sure, or... On, 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 on essay? On essay, yeah. Oh, snap. Cool. I mean, uh, I can't remember. I actually can't remember. Well, certainly Ace, has, Ace had a 4-0 fail. Callie had a 4-0 fail. 
and and I, I saw like yeah, Joachim had uh, one that where he got the boost in like the last frame or something. Did he? Yeah, I thought he had a four zero complete. Nah, I, I I think from what I remember, it, his um his he gets super close to a four zero, but he he, he gets okay. a boost very very late. Um, okay, well, definitely it's it's de definitely yeah. Of course, it's possible. Um, I said I I said I got it. Actually, I don't think I do have a complete. I definitely have multiple fails though with like legit battery throws. I know it's possible for sure, but the the, the thing is, you have to get lucky because it requires uh, lag to be. You have to get lucky with the lag. Basically, you're you're not gonna get because I've done it on emula on uh, the splits ROM on emulator or whatever, and most of the time you'll land it um, 23.1 like, or 08 or something just right 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 above it and you'll just that'll just be every single run is, is that and then every once in a while you'll get like 22.9 something uh, okay well wow. and, there, and there's nothing different about you can see on the splits they're just all the splits are faster for no reason so that that does happen okay okay uh, well I hope that's at least somewhat useful Sayonara. Um, but but yeah. Um, let's go back. You were saying. Uh, so back to the, the ace. Yeah, when you uh, saw that fail. You, yeah, you, you, your eyes. I knew there was. Up. Yeah, I knew there was something with it that I. And then of course, I already had it in the back of my mind that all the SA runs were faster anyway for some reason. Yeah. Um, yeah. like our boosts more powerful on SA or whatever. But no, they're not. So then I, that at that moment, I'm like, well, the only thing he's doing differently is he's killing the hut guard because on SA they'll blow up the plane if you if you don't. And so I just went to the Blitz ROM and tried it and just did like, I don't know, 10 or 15 runs or something of just doing that. And right away you can tell that it's saving it's saving time. So that's when I knew that that was the last. As in, you, you, could, you could tell that, was that simply... Um just due to you could just see that the runs were smoother and there were lower lag or uh or what? no you can't really feel it in my opinion i don't think at least but it does save time on this on the split where i'm oh, talking about the from, 10 point yeah. 10.6 or yeah that that split that corner split you can see you can see that if before you were doing like 10.71 10.75 10.72 now you're doing like 10.66 10. oh interesting it's, like, it's instantly faster because my my intuition when I heard about that was that well you know those guards are shooting at you throughout the entire run so my my intuition was that oh the time came off um, kind of at like it, not even at the end but just like throughout the entire run as in like at, at, yeah I think it does no, oh, I, I do okay. think it does yeah but I think it saves so I don't know if, it's it's a lot harder to 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 clock the second half of the run because the juggling is not. Um, it's not going to ever be consistent run to run. Yeah. But the first half is very consistent because you can just know if you got a, if, did you get a good hut or not? And that should be this pace and that they're all coming in, you know, like five tenths faster or something. So I think it saves about a 10th in total. Uh, how much? Uh, yeah. 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 About a 10th in total is what I think. Mm. Maybe point, maybe that, point. And that was enough for you. Even. Yeah. Mm hmm. And so I guess I guess when you once you figured that out, like you you got to work well, then pretty I, swiftly. That was the first. Yeah, that was the one I've. There's no doubt at this point. Everything, all the pieces add up. Even if the run doesn't have to be perfect, I could still get, still get 21 with it. Um, so that helps a lot because you don't need an absolutely perfect hut. So then your number of attempts goes way up. So I just that yeah I just started. Did you did did going, you get 21 on the splits run first or? No. Uh -huh, okay. No, I didn't. I immediately stopped playing the splits ROM at that point because I didn't want that to happen. Uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. Mm. Uh, oh, okay, that was kind of interesting because I mean, m well, my intuition would have been, oh, you, if you get it on the splits ROM, then I don't know that would be. Um... No, that was like the worst case scenario in my mind. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Probably because of, but probably because it's still not easy to get all the juggles to work right, like you. If I would play for, uh, at that time when I was doing that, I was playing for about three hours, two, maybe two to three hours a day from like 10.30 or 10 or 10.30 until like one or something. Um, so 
I would maybe get a few runs that had all all seven juggles that hit. Yeah. In that time, so it's not it's still not like in, it's not extremely consistent to get to get that run, and then also the quality of it has to be still high. You can't be like getting side boosted all over the place. Yeah. So it's not common necessarily to get a run that's has uh, quality enough juggles to get to get 21 anyway yeah yeah, yeah of course uh so uh if i'd have told you that in 2020 that in 2023 that then it would only have been tied once uh what would what would you have thought um honestly at first i thought it would have been tied i, I would probably be surprised because i would have thought it would have been tied more than that uh i, I figured like well once here's the strategy and it and then now that it, it's like the it's not really the gameplay in my opinion that's that was the part i was happy with it was the figuring out the strategy so i thought once that was known then it would be a lot of people would get it um, but i think it's it's still kind of frustrating so it's probably people have tried it but it's not something you necessarily want to oh yeah that, that was gonna be my next question like well, why do you think do you think do you think that's just it? Do you, like, have you have you reconsidered since then? And you think, oh, actually, actually maybe, <clears throat> maybe, yeah. maybe it is really hard. Or well, yeah, one people don't like one, runway, which I do, which I do like it by the way. For the record, um, I thought you might. I do like it. It's fun to play. I think it's just you just sit there and can. Re it's not very stressful to play. It's not like you know a million inputs, so it's nice and smooth and everything doesn't hurt your hands. It's fun. It's funny. But, like you, 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 Joachim said. Well, Joachim said the same thing. He said, like, um, he finds it kind of quite, uh, I think, uh, like, uh, meditative was the word he used. Yeah, and you don't have to pay attention either that much, really. Um, there's only a very, you have to pay attention at the beginning when you're getting the key. And then if it is a bad run, then you just, like, there's not very many seconds per minute that you have to actually be paying very close attention to, unlike... If you're playing control or something, you have to like pay attention for you know the entire time. Yeah. Uh, for minutes at a time, so runway's not like that. It's like you can you can be watching a show or whatever while you're playing it. Is it, is that what you tend to do? Um, I would usually be listening to a podcast or something. Do you remember what you were listening to when you hit the twenty-one? I wasn't listening to anything actually, and and I I remember that because. Um, I had turned the music off, I think, at that point, very recently, because I was, I had this new idea where if I turn the music off, maybe it'll save some time, but mm -hmm. if nothing else, it'll let me hear the grenades landing a little bit better and, like, concentrate better for yeah. the juggling part, so I, I don't, so I wasn't listening to anything at that point. I mean, the, the, just, just from hearing that, like, it sounds like you were really trying to squeeze like everything you possibly could well because i was a little worried for some reason i was a little paranoid that um now that i've figured it out and i know and i have all the pieces i'm like well somebody else could figure it out too and then i've spent all this effort and then somebody else is going to get it before me so i need to i need to get going here you said you have said before that you um you feel as though you feel as though the, the juggle potentially, and I, I don't want to say you say that should have been figured out earlier, but you said basically there's no reason why why yeah. it couldn't have been innovated a lot earlier than you did. I agree with that. Yeah, I think it. I think it's only the only reason why nobody figured it out is because it was just like because this is the way the juggle is, and you just do this, and that's what you do. Because it's kind of, I mean, it's all the all the pieces of it we already knew about like you we knew i learned about the thing where if you're priming a grenade when one boosts you but you've only just started priming it you it won't it won't be thrown mm -hmm. so that was already known and like you could logically go from one to the next to say well if i only start priming it right before the boost hits then i will be able to fit more in you know, because like the the waiting period in the middle was the problem for me. Yeah. Because all that wasted time where you're not doing any boosts, so that was kind of I was just was focused on trying to fill that time with 
and not have it be just nothing. So yeah, I was I was thinking that somebody else might figure it out too, because it seemed like once I figured it out, I seemed it seemed like it was not the most genius thing I, in, that I've ever figured out. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Somebody else may be trying for it too. Luckily, everybody hates Runaway, so nobody probably else was yeah, even yeah. thinking about it. But yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, the, I, my my guess would be is that honestly, um, as you, well, the way you said it was that you you kind of just had this you had had this belief from the get go that this has got to be possible, and so it's almost yeah. it's, it's like it wasn't that. Um, uh, you kind of, you kind of, you kind of came in it backwards. Instead of, <clears throat> you know, um, finding out, finding out the, the the strategy just through kind of generally innovating and just, uh, I mean, like that. that was, I mean, I don't know how, what 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 uh, Ted Ted's process is, but he um, um, he's just kind of good at what he does, and like he he finds things by, my guess would be by ex by experimenting with things and tinkering and tinkering around and, but, yeah. but, but, but whereas with you, it kind of. It, you kind of had the the time in mind first like this has got to this has got to be possible so let's just let's yeah. just attack it just from the uh, a point of view of like this has got to be possible how is it going well, to be possible yeah it has to be possible because look at this huge wasted time right in the middle and we have more grenades in our inventory or whatever and so there has to be a way to use them. It's basically that's really it's as simple as that. It was my thought process, and mm -hmm. then it got. Of course, it's not that simple when you try to figure it out. But I just always thought it doesn't. It just didn't look like the optimal. Do you think the optimal run? Do you think twenty one is theoretically possible without the uh, hot kills? Yeah, but it would be very, very be, be very tight. But yeah, I think I think it would be possible without it. Mm -hmm. But it might. It could be the relax. difference between. Could be a difference between. You play for it for. I don't remember how many. So after I had had like the full. Idea, how many hours did I play till I got it? I don't really. I don't really know, but probably. I mean, definitely less than a hundred. Okay. So right. so it could be the difference between a hundred hour grind and like a thousand hour grind. Maybe. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So it's a big. So it's a big. It's a huge difference. Uh, Sinar asks, is there any explanation of the bug juggle other than the one on the wiki? Um, I can give you a quick explanation, I guess. It's th it's just that you just keep... The, instead of throwing three all at once and then waiting for them to land and then throwing more, you just... When the third one... Or when the, the first one lands, you've already thrown the third one. Right as it lands, you are priming the next. So it boosts you, but it doesn't make you throw the grenade because you've only just started priming it. And then you just throw that one. The next one lands. Same thing. You just are, you're pressing Z, or actually I um, pre I hold Z and press A to throw. But you're throwing the next grenade right as the one that's about to boost you lands, basically. So then you, the prime the time that the time works out so that you're getting the boost, but it's it's not like blowing up. The grenade that you have, or making you making you throw the one you have. Right, maybe we'll I don't know put that in uh, te uh, speech speech to text or something like that, and I don't know, post it somewhere so people can. Uh, <laughs> that might not. I don't know if that was uh, even a coherent explanation. Well, I hope that was helpful, Sinar. It's e it's easy if you just yeah just hold Z, press A as soon as the grenade lands. Basically, around that time you'll figure out the timing. You can't throw it too. Um, early, or too, or if you throw it too late, then the explosion from the one boosting you will blow up the one in the air that you just threw. So it has to be high enough that that doesn't happen, but it has to be um, not too early so that you actually start priming the next one, and then the, the boost makes you throw it away. So it's just, there's a little window in between there where that you have to, that's where you throw. Would you consider making a tutorial? Uh, maybe, but I don't really, I'm not good at, um, runway anymore. So <laughs> it might not go so well. Yeah. yeah, I think JL should make the tutorial. He's, right, he's right. definitely better than me at this He's point. He's going to pass the buck on that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, right. Well, one more thing. He says there's slight turns to the left and the right, or to the right. So, um, the boosts are 
the boosts are like forcing you offline a lot of times because the path in the air is not always the same. Hey, hang on, it, this is probably a good, a good point. While you're doing this explanation, the door that I closed earlier on has been opened again, so I'm going to go and close it, and you can, right. you can keep, tell Sarah what he needs to, you need to know. Yeah, so the, it's always trying to push, they're, they're not going to be perfectly lined up. with. So you, the shifting left or right is just when the grenade's landing right before it explodes, you're just trying to get in front of it. Um, are you, I, I'm sorry, not, there's two things. If it lands and you know that it's slightly off, you can adjust a little bit, and then when you're throwing it, you can kind of tilt to the right as you're throwing it, which forces it more in a straight line, because otherwise it's going to go a little bit off to the left, which you don't want. So you're, you're, but you can't do that too much because it's going to throw you off your line. So it's kind of a, uh, I'd say the, the main benefit is that you're, you're doing a slight turn to the right as it's throwing so that it more keeps on line. If you just throw them straight, they're gonna like drift off to the left a little bit, and then you won't. You'll be going the wrong way. So, you 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 want the boost to be just absolutely lined up with your direction to the plane. Yeah, you yeah exactly. You need them to be perfect. All right. He looks well. He's ho hopefully hopefully satisfied. Um, yeah, it's enough runway talk, I think. Right? Well, 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 I was gonna. Um, I wanted to just. I wanted. I wanted to finish off because I mean we. Um, we got almost almost okay. at the end of the story, but yeah, um, that was a joke because there's never enough runway talk. Okay, right, right. Uh, um, so at this point, well, I mean, so how did that? How, how was that for you? You'd gone from, you know, a couple of years earlier. Just thinking, oh man, this has got to be possible. But I mean, obviously, you were you were a novice at the time, mm -hmm. and you, um, uh, you obviously you had no real idea as that whether or not it was going to be possible. So I mean, that must have been quite an interesting time for you, like that moment at which it had kind of gone from being, I don't know, effectively a pipe dream to becoming seriously concrete in a like you know in an instant basically yeah that was it was when i first knew that i had all the pieces that was definitely uh i felt like a new sense of uh enthusiasm for it for sure and then but you have to keep in mind i had a ton of i also had a ton of runs that looked like i have a lot of runs that look exactly like the 21 but they're just 22 as well so even though I knew it was possible, it's still you're still not sure. It's like, is there something that I'm not considering that where you put all the run together, it just doesn't work or something? I don't, so um, there was a lot of moments where I thought I was going to get it, and then it was 22. So still, even after I felt, even after I had the full strategy, so um, you never quite know for sure. Did did did, did any of them actually? Like did a diminish your spirit at all, or were you the, the way you're well, describing it? Yeah, was as if you were yeah. super confident from the get go, and you just knew, and you just got it, and that's it. Yeah, because it's just like, well, you know, uh, that really should have been twenty one. So, but it wasn't, and then you're kind of thinking about it for a second, like, why wasn't that? And you can go back and watch it, and it looks fine. And it's like maybe the hut was a little slow. Let's keep going. So it's just like I just always I still thought it was I'm I knew in my head that it was still that it was still well I mean cool. so I don't know so um uh I guess it, like entertain entertain this uh this scenario so imagine if if you if you you were saying oh every run you looked at you could analyze it be like oh that was slow that was that was slow or something like that um, yeah. if you had got what a run a run that was just like the absolute just God run, and you, you just you just couldn't understand it. Like, what would what would your approach have been? Do you think it would have still been to just be like, well, I don't know, just I probably yeah, something else out, something else out. Like you like you're, you're not the kind would've... of person who gets uh, uh, I don't know, like dispirited easily. I probably would have thought that well, I, it probably was like a 
the lag wasn't right or something, and that was the reason. So I probably would have just, because the lag is the biggest thing where it's like, that can be vary so much that it could really, you might, I don't know if you need that low lag run that I'm talking about to get 21 or not. I'm not really sure. It's possible that you do need it, or at least it really helps. But I would have just thought, well, I just have to keep playing until I get one of those, and then that'll that'll be the that'll mm -hmm. be the time. Yeah. So, um, um, well, I mean, so so do you, so. Uh, what do you remember of the of the day when you got the run? It was pretty. It was pretty early, I think. Into I think it was like thirty or forty minutes into the to the session and I think it was the second one of the day that I had all the juggles with like a, I had a decent one before that and it was again 22 but then this one there were, you, I, I'm pausing at the end before I press A to show the time because I'm a lot of times I'm not really paying like you don't know when you're going to get all the juggles to, to hit and usually they don't so I'm not always really paying that close attention so at that moment I'm thinking back and I'm like how good was the hut because these juggles were pretty much perfect mm -hmm. um, the line to the plane was not 100% perfect because I'm hitting the plane like a little farther back than than I wanted to but still like every single one of those boosts I'm thinking is like pretty much perfect which is rare but then I'm thinking, how good was the hut? And I'm like, not sure if it was good enough. Cause I remembered it was kind of, and you can even see, I'm kind of like, it's, I don't quite hit the wall, but kind of almost. And the turn is not very smooth. And it's like, not one of the better huts, to be honest. I think it, I think I probably lost a, maybe even almost a 10th on that hut. You wouldn't recommend Sinar uh, tries to emulate that. There's better huts than that one uh -huh. for sure. So I wasn't sure. So I was definitely kind of shocked when it was when 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 that was the the reveal. I, I think but, that that's so that's honestly you, you just saying that is kind of so indicative of your attitude towards the game in general. Is that like even even on the twenty one run itself, you're like like it's kind of funny in that even well when you're on the end screen, you technically have twenty one at that point, uh, and at that point, like you're still kind of. Uh, you're still analyzing and you're still like going over your own runs and that's kind of such a that's such a I don't know that, that's very that's very poetic uh, that I mean it was um, that as you say it, 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 it um, it's not the it's not the gameplay that you feel like most proud of it's the it's the analysis yeah and, definitely yeah and you know thinking your way to 21 yeah so that was a, so that was a that was a big relief for sure. I was finally, um, not that I was done playing runway or, or not really that. I was just like, I was relieved that it was, um, that it was true and proven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what was your, what was your, uh, what was the foremost emotion you had upon getting the time? I guess both in the, you know, short term and long term in the sh yeah definitely relief and so, even though that might be like a weird way to say it as if i hated playing for the grind not 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 that not relief for that reason but just relief of like um i've been thinking that this like this is what i've been working towards and then you know here it shows up and it's and it's that it's proven true and I was right and now I don't have to worry about this anymore basically like mm -hmm. that kind of that kind of feeling yeah um and then I was and then as it's I don't really think about it too much anymore to be honest um it was kind of just like a mission and I just didn't really want to have to quit because I wasn't going to spend unlimited time on it yeah it wasn't something I was I'm not willing to like necessarily play for I mean I have a I don't like I said I at most could, would play for like three hours a day 
fitting in it at the end of the night, but I'm not, I couldn't keep that up forever because, you know, I'm, I'm not sleeping as much when I'm staying up that till one and still waking up at a, you know, normal time seven or whatever. So it's like reduced sleep. It's, it's not a sustainable thing for to play that much for it. So I just knew that I had to commit to it, get it. And then hopefully I was going to be able to get it quick enough and so that I didn't have to give up basically. So that was kind of like the relief the um, that, I, that it, it all worked out. Like the plan that I had in my mind worked out where I figured like, I just need to commit to it for this month or two months or whatever. And then that should be enough time to get it. And then if it's not, I'll have to reevaluate. Uh, to, to what extent was it, uh, was it worth the, um, uh, well, the, uh, sacrifices that you, uh, that you laid out? Yeah, definitely worth it. I mean, it was because it's again it's like it's not it's not really the number of hours for me like the grind like i know there's probably there's probably a lot of grinds that are going to be longer than that month or however long it took i think it was like a month or so maybe three weeks whatever for me to to get it some people are like the dam cali's dam 52 or what like those are maybe longer grinds even but um, I just knew that for me, I wasn't going to be able to, I couldn't just, I couldn't just do like X hours a day until I got it. I was like, I had to get it within a few, like a month or, or, or two or else I wouldn't be able to keep up doing that. But yeah, it was worth it because, um, you know, I knew it was possible. So I wanted to, I wanted to be the one to, to do it. And if not, I was thinking about like, well, then I'll just release the strategy if I'm not going to get it in. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, well, I mean, and I, I guess, I guess, well, to what extent was, uh, vindication part of it? Well, I mean, what was your response to, you know, uh, the fact the, the, I don't, no, I, I don't want to make too big a deal of it. It wasn't as if there were like warring factions, but basically there were, there were the people who believed and people who didn't believe. Basically, like, like yeah. how, how did that? Yeah, like how how did you take that? I like the I like the non-believers to be honest, uh -huh. um, because that's that's like more motivating for me than right. if ever I don't have much motivate. Like that's why Cavs one hundred, which is the other kind of only untied that I've ever really played for is it doesn't have the same uh, pressure or not pressure, but like, I don't know. It doesn't have quite the same. I'd be, it'd be more fun to play for if everybody thought it wasn't possible, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like, do you feel like it, do you feel like it comes from, uh, um, well, I mean, like, like Sayonara saying in the comments, saying, oh, fucking own. Does it come from a place of being <laughs> like, oh, fuck you. Like, no, not, oh. not, it's, it's not negativity. It's like, it's more like, um, I just like to, it just seems maybe to be a little, I think my natural tendency is to be a little, um, like difficult. So like it, it would be annoying if, if everybody thought it, if, if everybody thought it was possible. I'd much prefer if, if most people thought it wasn't possible. I, I, I like, I mean, of course, it's nice when people think it is possible. And I'm like, yeah, it, it's possible, I think. Um, we just don't know how yet. Like, okay, that's nice. But I really, it's more more motivating when people are like, nah, it'll just never happen because the math just doesn't work and it's obvious that it's not possible. Uh -huh. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, I mean, with, with, with calves, it's very much a case of like, it's, it's more a case of like when rather than if. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean there are. I mean, to be. F I mean, uh, let's have a look. Like to be fair, I'd say there are. I don't know. Would you say there are any? Obviously, I mean, I, I mean the reason why, I, like, like, like I said at the beginning, you know, Runway Twenty One was kind of conspicuous in its absence with Carl getting the other, uh, yeah, boring three. So I, I guess there will be no agent record. So that was kind of so. It, it, it's interesting because I hadn't really thought about it like this because I was gonna look through the agent records and see, oh, you know, are there any kind of um, records which are kind of in that space between 
we don't know whether or not it's it's, it's possible or, or impossible. And yeah, I'm sure I'm sure. So yeah, I don't know if there are any more because that was a good one because everybody had twenty two basically, like hundreds of a hundred and whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I was like, yeah. it, it felt. It, it, I feel as though Runway Twenty One was so special, not just because, not not simply because there were we weren't sure whether or not it's possible. It was just the fact that it was the it was the last of like the 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 boring four to go down, and yeah. and that you know one of the best one of the game's best players had had untied three and hadn't even tried for. Uh, mm -hmm. The last one, because he just he was just like, oh, it's just impossible, and that kind of gave it even more, uh, like, 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 even more weight to it. That the kind of um, uh, I don't know, like the person think... who specialized in getting these, um, who slain these, well, no, taking down yeah. these historic ties, um, didn't even didn't even try. Right. Yeah, I think he didn't. I don't remember if he thought it was possible or not. I, th I, th I feel like I thought he thought it might be, but he just didn't really think it was realistic. I, what I remember him saying is, I remember someone asking him in chat at the time, like, you know one of these new players being like, oh, Carl, are you going for runway 21? And then, yeah, is, I, I, I'm pretty sure I remember his response quite accurately. He basically says, no, because I don't know how to get runway 21. Yeah. No. Clearly it wasn't possible with the current strategy. Like the current, yeah. you, something else was going to have to be figured out. I kind of feel like, speaking, I was looking through the list. I think pro maybe like Surface 1, 102 might have been the most similar where a lot of people had 102. Yeah. And it's like nobody was really even thinking about 101 as far as I know. Because 102, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe some people, maybe some people. I wouldn't say it was as much that way because um, everybody knew it was possible once Cali was posting like. 30 shot 102s and stuff, but um, I think for a long time probably nobody was thinking about 101 at all. Yeah. Certainly not with this pretty much the exact same strategy that everybody got 102 with. It's like he didn't really there's nothing new about the 101 it's just basically <laughs> Good. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so oh. maybe that, that would maybe similar like a lot of people had 102 but nobody was really considering 101. Uh, oh, so uh, Joris says, um, what Carl said was runway agent twenty one is not possible because I'm not going for it. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that, that's an awesome quote. <laughs> that's quite good. Um, I I would say I would say I mean looking through the looking through the rank the agent times now. Yeah. Um, which ones would you? I mean, you, you'd probably be possibly the best possible person to ask about this. Which which ones do you see as um? Potentially yielding further on tides, and which ones do you, of all people, believe are truly impossible to improve upon? Well, excluding frigate, I'll exclude frigate because that's an obvious one. Yeah. Um, the twenty-one is should have obvious, already. Obviously possible. Yeah. Um, I don't. Let's see. I'm looking through. Oh, I guess. Speech one ten. Yep. seems possible um probably will happen i i would assume um other than that I, the agent times are pretty t well and obviously Cavs 100 is is also certainly possible who knows when it'll happen um well and uh, e e e egypt 43 like uh i know both yeah. cali and irie have had multiple uh, yeah i don't know if there's anything months. that i think is possible that almost that would be like a shocking i, I feel like the stuff that's possible everybody kind of expects yeah. um I well oh yeah any... there's this at, at jar says that as aztec agent i guess yeah that's sure the... yeah uh, yeah you can kind of see the route to all these agent possible agent on tides i think it's i don't i don't i'm not going to try to claim anything crazy all right okay possible. okay so yeah. um i know now i see joris in the comments um i believe it was you joris who who made the uh, what is it? I think it was Bunker One Fifteen Theory. Okay, that's a good one to talk about. Um, yeah, that is. I was I was talking about that a little bit too. Where, um, I could see that being a shocking. It it would be shocking if it happened, but then I bet when you saw the run, and then you, everybody would say, "Oh yeah, we like we should have seen this coming." 
that kind of thing. Um, do, 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 is, do you believe that's what people thought when they saw your time? The 21? Well, I, I knew that they were going to think, oh, we should have figured that out already because this is not as crazy as you would think. I, 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 would, I think the run does you, not look that crazy to me. Uh, yeah, I well, yeah, it's... I don't know. I, I feel like... It's no uh, Bunker 1 SA-19 yeah, in I'm terms of... That. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't know if that's strictly fair. Um, no. Um, yeah, I thought people would be underwhelmed by it. Yeah, I don't. I, if I can speak for people in general, I don't think I, I, underwhelming is definitely not the uh, adjective I would use to for the reaction to um, uh, Roma Twenty One. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you know, it, it's. It's once it's happened, it, it's always really obvious. But um, yeah, I, I think that the the obvious the obvious things are often kind of like kind of like the, the like the most brilliant. It's like the hiding in plain sight stuff. Like there's a reason why um, what a, over a hundred people had twenty two and no one had no one had thought of it. I think it um, um, as I said, I think it required the belief to go out and look for something because ultimately if no one believed in um 21 no one would have any reason to come up with a juggle because what's the point right yeah so that that's kind of why i feel it was kind of special um joris says um oh he thinks uh, uh 15 is uh, one of those is a time that's possible but like no like no one's no one's ever going to go for it would you agree with that could be true, yeah. I think, um, I definitely think it's theoretically possible. I'm not sure it's realistically possible. Okay. Um, let's look through. Uh, Callie believes in uh, Bunker 2 19. I don't know if you have any, any thoughts on that. Oh, um, well, he would know better than me, of course, on that one. So. I think he was. Yeah. Was, I guess if it is he counting on, what's he counting on boost and stuff, to get it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think it's basically basically like uh, perfect boost and uh, yeah fl flawless execution basically. Hmm. That one would be out of my. I I haven't even really tried twenty at all. Uh, that seems pretty hard to me. So nineteen would be very impressive. Uh -huh. But probably not shocking, if. If somebody like Callie or, you know, any top kind of player got a time like that and it turned out that... Because, yeah, we're kind of missing how Bunker 2 23 used to be, where it was kind of... Oh, you yeah. could get boosts. You could get boosts, or then you could also get it without boosts if it was, like, a perfect run. So I maybe, like, 20 is maybe not quite as sharp as that, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure twenty. But nine, nineteen would be. nineteen would be way, would be way sharper than 20. the old twenty three. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah I, I, I know Callie believes in it. Well, like definitely. Um, <clears throat> uh, you're saying street, street, streets one ten? I have to say, I don't know enough about streets to. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that one's possible. Um, or I'm sure it'll happen. I should say it'll it'll happen at some point. Well, 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 my, you, you sound you sound very very, very it, well, Enough people have. I think a lot of people like streets. I think a lot of there's a lot. It's a long level. There's a lot of different boosts that can happen. There's a lot of. It's just like you just have to get somebody who's got the perfect lines and just reps it out until they get until they get the boost and it, it'll happen. I'm sure somebody will do it. And it's also one of those levels where you don't necessarily have to be, you have to get good at, at that level. You can, you can, you can specialize in that level if you, if you choose to. Yeah. It's not, it's not like, I don't think very many people can get, I sh I, I'm not saying like anybody could get streets 110, but I'm saying like, it's not, it's just going in straight lines. It's not like you don't have to do anything really crazy. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot, I think, Enough people it's could kind of like, kind of possibly like get it. On steroids. Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. So I think enough people are capable of getting it, and eventually somebody just will. Mhm. Mm uh, th this one is a uh, is an interesting one. What do you think about Depot Twenty Two? Uh, 
Um, unless there's some kind of issue with the Taz, and it's like a but not a very efficient Taz, because I think there's a Taz that gets like twenty two point nine seven or something. Well, the um, Taz gets twenty two point four eight. Oh, does it with yeah. a double warp? Yeah. I'm still gonna say no, not ha not happening, but okay. but possible, but not happening. What, 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 what makes you, I don't know if you ever. I guess you, you you never saw. I made a forum post about. Um, oh, I felt like um, I felt like Dep Depot Twenty Two was. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's like still completely fucked. But I um, I felt I'm saying it because I don't. <coughs> I would hope that nobody who already has twenty three would be irresponsible enough to keep going. Yeah, yeah. That would be... Well, I mean, to be fair, Joris, Joris got it with his first warp, so maybe like, he <laughs> maybe, should take, he should take maybe one he, for the team and go for He might be the only team. one with enough, yeah, enough juice left in the tank then. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about Cradle 32? Do you believe in the, the Chris G yeah, grind I, for that one? Yeah, no, I think that one could happen too, yeah. Hmm... What, uh, any, again, is that just like an intuition or? I think that? he thinks that he can get it, and I believe him. Okay. Okay. I, I, I like that. Yeah. Um, so, I, I thought, uh, I guess this would be a decent point to uh, get onto the, your, your cabin's grind. So, what's your, what's your history with the level? I didn't really have. I didn't really play it that much until um, so back when Irie and Jimbo and uh, have I think were kind of all going for 101. I was going for it as well, and I had just gotten 102. And then I don't remember when that was. It was a while ago. And then I didn't get it. I had a. I think I just wasn't really consistent enough, so I just kind of stop playing it and then eventually i don't remember why why did i pick it back up again i think i thought well first of all it was a, like one of those world records that i thought was a at the time it was a higher quality world record than i think now like over 50 people have it but back then it was only like nine or something and it was all like clemens ace you know luke everybody like top players had it but it wasn't like the one that everybody had so I thought it would be like a higher quality world record to get. Um, and then it was, I think, I'm trying to remember when exactly it happened, but I had the idea that um, I'll start after, certainly after Runway 21, I'll, like, I'll start looking, at, because maybe with the lag savings we're getting from just killing two guards on runway maybe that could be like a half a second on cavern since it's so much longer and then maybe it turns out that 100 is actually easy which is not the case by the way but um mm -hmm. so I, that's what i thought and then i just started like experimenting with that killing different guards w at the was beginning it, and different would, would you say it was it was a pretty similar process to how how it was kind of well Caverns is a little different because you already know that 100 is possible even without any improvements. Yeah. Just from the boost. You can you, do, you just know that you could get it. You could get enough boost that you could just get it with the, even with without any time saves you at all. You mean like with, with, I, with the old, old straps? Yeah, just any any strat, basically. Do you think... Uh, so, I don't know. I would... Do you think that's true? Because I, I would... I don't know. It's... Yeah, I think... I think you... Anybody could have... I accidentally got it in the at any point in the past if they just happen to get a crazy run like um, it's probably less that becomes less true over time as the quality of player who's getting 101 goes down I feel like because like back when ace same thing kind of what I said with runway where like bosses runway 22 essay was a really high quality run and then the quality dropped off a little bit yeah, so on yeah, average, yeah, same thing with same thing with calves. The the early runs are are really good, a lot of them, and then later on they just become more. Joris become more standard. Joris makes the point that that, I, that I, I was I was gonna make. Like I, I um, I don't know. I, I no. 
You could be right, I think, but um, um, I and I watch I watch Mock growing. I think I pro I possibly watch more of Mock's growing than anybody else. And um, yeah, dude has like well over a hundred. I think it's between like a hundred and two hundred um, one oh ones. And yeah. and honest honestly, like the he he kind of told me that he 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 had. The way he was describing it, he like sent me some runs that were like kind of sort of close, mm -hmm. but that he he felt like it was it really was like a like a thousand hour grind t like type of deal. It might um, be still like, yeah. like, 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 like without without the without the, the the cinema timing. Right. Well, the cinema timing. I yeah. I think that's like the big thing is um, if you aren't going to use the right cinema timing, then you do have to get boosted through the drone and then that is gonna be that's pretty rare so that's gonna hurt your grind a lot i think yeah. so i think uh, well, I th yeah i think it, i think it would have been po i mean like look the, the the mine strat it doesn't actually really save that much time anyway it, i think it really just um the, here's a question does the lag reduction linearly scale no it does not that's that that's what i found so that's that's actually a good that's a good question because that's what I thought originally. It's like I was testing all these different guard spots at the beginning. Like, okay, throw mine here, take out these, throw one here, take out this guy, throw. And like, if you test them all individually, they all seem to save a little bit of time. But when you add them together, the time save does not go up, because at least from what I found, I think some might disagree, which I'll get into. But so like, the reason that I settled on this. The spiral one is because it gets the two guys that are chasing you up the spiral. It's easy to throw. You don't have to go out of your way to do it. And it's just like a sensible spot to put it. And it gives you 30 frames per second on the spiral for pretty much the whole way up. And with testing all the different spots, I didn't find anything that was better than that. And I'm so, it, like, does it save time? It's kind of because I think you can get the same pace spiral if you don't do anything at all. But most of the time, it'll be laggier. But if you do the mine, it's like always, always good lag. And you're always going to get 30 frames per second. So, um, there also, I also saw, I know that um, um, JD said that you throwing a mine also at an earlier spot in the, in the beginning... Like, I think I saves, think you, saves the, even more uh, time. I didn't find that when I tested it, but he said that he did. So uh, you know, maybe that's maybe I, maybe my testing wasn't perfect. But I think for the most part, you're kind of capped because you can't get better than 30, 30 FPS yeah. in terms of lag reduction. So it's like once you hit that, then that's pretty much it. So maybe his earlier U bend one saves. It maybe it makes it even more consistent. And maybe you just get it a little bit earlier or something. So I'm not saying it doesn't save time, but I think for the most part, like it's not necessarily about saving time. It's more about making sure that every single run is as optimal lag wise as it can be. Uh -huh. So it's, it's more about like uh, 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 consistency. Like it'll save time on average, mm -hmm. but it might not save time on of, of the optimal on, run. Yeah. Yeah, you might you might luck into an, a lag optimal run anyway, even if you don't kill any any guards. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, I know I I I saw I I rewatched uh, JD's like his best his best one on one, where I think it was the one where he literally timed it and it it it, it, it was it was it was, a, it was literally exactly one second ahead of I think his um, mm. his worst his worst one on one. But it was still one on one, so um, yep. do you think that was just simply a case of just getting unlucky with lag? I don't. Well, I don't know how he timed it. I don't think timing. Um, I don't think timing like a, in real time. I, yeah, I get that I, yeah. I mean, you're, I mean, you're I mean, I know proving, that. I, I know. Like you're like proving that it's a second better. I get. I get that. Yeah. It's, but it's yeah. Just a but yeah. Thing. With with the lag, it's probably. Um, I'm sure it was really close. I mean, I've seen some runs from him that are obviously less than a boost away so uh yeah not surprised that that he's almost had it multiple times basically because his quality so the difference between 
I don't know how many 101s he has, but I think I have about maybe 30 or 35 or something like that. I think he has... I think he has more than he's, me. He's between 50 and 60 at the moment, I think. Yeah. And that's not... His starts are, are more consistent than mine. And that's... That's probably, if you're trying to go for it, you probably would want to focus on the start as much as possible to just get out of there with a solid two-boost start. It's actually, for me at least, it's like... My starts are not... not they're definitely the weak point of the run for me. But everything else, I feel like, is... I'm fast enough. I just have to. If I was going to get it, it would require. Uh, I'm probably hurting my odds by not being as consistent at the start as I as I could be. How seriously have you played for? For a while, it was a lot, and then lately, not not as much. Um, so maybe we'll get back into it at some point. I don't really care as much about that one as if I want to see it happen. I don't necessarily care that I'm that I'm the one to get it or not. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it would it would be nice, obviously, but I'm not like um, racing racing the clock on that one too much. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, do you feel? Do you get? Do you get the sense that there's that there's more to be found on caverns, or do you find, or, or is your is your sense? Yeah. It's, you, sometimes I think they're. Sometimes I think so. Um, Every time I I can't really find any lag reductions in the upstairs section. There might be that there might be some to find though. I don't know. The, well, uh, did did you watch um, JD's uh, tutorial? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was saying that um, uh, it is like uh, making sure you don't load the um, uh, the the uh, radio room area. Uh, like it's, it's good. It's good. Like it uh, uh, makes a difference with, with lag. And I also know that I can't remember if I, if I told you this or not. If I DM'd you about it, but like um, uh, Mop, Mop was saying that um, the key to uh, low lag um, sections, you know, just just before the before the drone tunnel is basically keep. I don't know if you, if you know what I mean, but like when you yeah I do yeah uh, when you come when you come to the uh, the tunnel. Um, there's, you've got the drone section, you have the bit slightly before the drone section as you're coming up towards, towards the, um, the, those two guards. Like, keeping that particular section unloaded for as long as possible is the key to low lag runs. From, from what, uh, Mop told me. Yeah, I could, I could, I could kind of buy that, because that section is actually one where you can, on the, if you're looking at the splits, you can, um, you can lose time there for seemingly no reason. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's stuff like that where, and I don't think, you know for sure, if um. Like where to necessarily look for most of the run either. I, I've tried. It's it's just hard to test lag like that because run to run you might have some. It's such a long run you're not going to be fully consistent and you know so I, think, I'm doing it optimally but it's very possible uh, I, there's another tent, tent or somewhere that you could you could find i know J jd does the same thing like on on different runs he's he's looking up or down oh he's looking like yeah planar or down or or right. whatever so it's hard to test it really is because it's just a it's just easier to test a shorter level uh-huh and 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 it's like it's, it's just too random really yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's also a very big level so it's like i feel like the lag environment is not as um, it but seems to. You can't control. It might not much. be consistent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, would you? What, what do you think? Do you think it'll? If you had to guess, that it'll happen before the end of the year, or do you think? I would have thought. Tough one? If JD was gonna, I, he kind of gave up now. I think, but if he kept going for it, I feel like um, definitely it would have. It would happen with within. I would have. Yeah, I don't know how long it would take. I guess I don't have a good feel for how many hours it takes. I think if he was, if a person of JD's caliber was playing it consistently, it would happen uh, within a year. I w I'm, I'm going to say, yeah. and otherwise, I don't know when we when we might see it. Okay. I, so I think it's probably fairly unlikely that somebody's just going to go for 101 and then luck into it at this point because you're probably not going to be sharp enough. 
to really have a chance. Um, even if you get like a seven or eight boost run, if, if you haven't, you know, it's going to take like many, many, many one oh ones before you're going to be. I would agree um, with that. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think it's probably going to be lucked into at any point. And, but and, if somebody... and the, 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 the cinema timing is wrong for anyway. True. Oh yeah, that well, that's true too. But I mean, I guess you could, yeah, you could get lucky and get boosted through the drone. But yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. so I don't, I don't see that happening. But um, if somebody good dedicates to it, then I'm sure they will get it eventually. Mm -hmm. Sayonara says, let, let's all just believe it's not possible and get bug fired up. I say, yeah, good strategy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, well, since you were saying that you, it's possible that you might get back into the cabin's grind at some point, you were, you obviously mentioned that during the during the the, the, the uh, runway grind, you, you you had to live a lifestyle that wasn't necessarily sustainable. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, would you would it simply be necessary to do that again for the cabin's grind, or do you feel like there's a more a generate way to go about it? No, I, I probably less so because at least whenever I go back and play it, I don't really, it doesn't seem like it takes, um, it's more about, there, there's going to be a, a certain period of like, getting back on pace, I guess, but once you're kind of at that 101 pace, it's just a matter of playing until you get the right run, and uh, you can do that here and there, I think, and, and it's going to take a lot of repetitions to get it. You don't necessarily have control, I don't think, over where whether you're going to get it or not. So it's a little different, where I feel like in Runway, it's, you can do more to... You can do more to kind of control... I'm thinking of second-guessing that now that I'm saying it, but I, I, I still think you have more control on Runway about how fast you're going, and on Caverns, you just kind of have to... Well, you yeah, because, best, I mean, you're, 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 you're boosting yourself on runway. Yeah. And, of course, the grenades are a little random, too, so you can't necessarily control it perfectly. But on caverns, it's like you get to the pace that you need to be at. Your your lines are as, as are what are good enough, and then you just have to get the 5 or 6 yeah. run. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you got the... You got the I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was it was a run on, on it with invincibility on where like the pace would have been easily good enough if you got like four boosts or something like that so, yeah um in in this in invincibility not invisibility because yeah. in, invisibility it's really easy because the, the lag is so low yeah yeah um if anybody's playing you can like you can just get 101 with no boosts on, with invisibility on yeah but um and yeah it's it's uh i think i, I on the splits rom i'd have like a sum of best I, if you really abuse that and you pick like your absolute fastest sections from each point of level, I don't think that's really fair because I have a feeling that sometimes certain sections are faster and then other ones in the same run will be a little slower because of the lag and stuff. So you can't, you can't really take your absolute fastest sections on every piece and then add them up and say, well, I should be able to get 100.6 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so I have like a realistic sum of best where I'm just taking more of like an average for each, from each section. Um, and then assuming like with 5-0 uh, ratio, I should be able to get it. And then 6-0 definitely. So mm -hmm. that's well, kind of what I mean, I mean, I JD's, um, I think, I don't know if it's all of them or some of them, but definitely more than one of his 1-0 uh, paces are 4-0 are, are ratios. Yeah, that's pretty tight. I don't. For month for me, I'm targeting. I would. I would. I would not expect to be getting a hundred with four zero for me. Mm -hmm. um, I would. I would think that it would be five zero, and then I would. If I was get. If I was on a run that was six zero, and it was a clean run, then I would know for sure that that it was good enough. Mm -hmm. okay. Which would probably make me mess up. Okay. What What is it that um. What is it that tends to uh, motivate you to uh, to play, or is it just pretty random? You just when you feel like it, when you feel like it. Yeah, these days it's not too often, and it's probably because it's really, you know, if I had nothing to do, I might think like, well, yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll play for a little bit or something. But um, 
nothing's really motivating me at the moment to really go after any mm -hmm. given time. Maybe if there was something, so if I could, I don't know if I'll, I probably will never play as much as I have in the past again, to be honest. Um, but here or there, yeah, potentially. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what was I going to say? And like, what, 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 I guess that leads me to a question is that what is it that motivates you? Like, why? I mean, is, I mean, it's a very more philosophical and general question, but like, like what, what is it that, oh, yeah. from a philosophical standpoint, um, I or, feel or, like or from any kind of standpoint, from a, a practical yeah. one as well. For Goldeneye specifically, I feel like I've, I mean, I'm not going to eclipse Runway 21. That was kind of like what I had to contribute and no gift I could get elite. I could get other times it's not they're not going to be you know as good I'm not going to put in as much effort so I think that's kind of like I'm, I've peaked in terms of what I set out to accomplish and so I'm not really trying to not trying to really keep going I'm not ever going to try to be champ or anything like that like, it's just never going to never going to put in that kind of effort for it. Were so, you, were you aware well, how aware were you when you got it that you were just like I I don't think anything is going to live up to this ever again in this Yeah, game. I thought I might never I thought I might just that'd be it to be for for a little while. Um and that's kind of been true, I guess, cuz I haven't really continued in the same way since then play things here or there but nothing nothing is that's that kind of like was a semi semi uh retirement i guess yeah. in a way because i'm never going to i don't think put in the same kind of effort mm -hmm. so it, and really it, it's it's just it's just like i'm i'm kind of i'm not really in general i'm not even really i wouldn't even consider myself a gamer uh -huh. I don't really play many video games, to be honest. Um, not really even consider myself a speedrunner, in, in a way, because I'm not like a lot of like speedrunners. They will speedrun multiple different games. Like I'm not really going to do that either. So I feel like that was I overachieved I, I, for for uh, 21. So that's good enough for me. Uh huh. So what I mean, I I asked you pretty early on. What were your, uh, it will, if you had like ambitions and goals and stuff like that, um, do you have any, I mean, you're saying, oh yeah, like I would like to get, you know, Cavern's Warner or something like that. Uh, you were saying, yeah, I'm not going to try and play to become champ or anything like that. Right. Do you feel as though you've got any, um, ambitions or goals left or is it just a case of if you fancy playing for a bit, you do it and then. Um, yeah, I think if it's a, well, I like Cavern's cause it's actually fun to play. I'm not going to. I'm not really gonna. The last, the last th th thing I played for that was like I thought wasn't fun. I started playing Cradle for 33 Agent, and I'm and then I quickly was like, I get that it's a world record, but you know, it's, it's okay. just no, I don't care about this. Yeah. yeah, so I'm I'm not I don't have the will to play for stuff that I don't think is fun. So there's not that many levels that I have interest in playing with. Uh, going forward, probably Streets definitely would be... I like Streets, I like ca Caverns Agent, I like um, Facility, but I'm not going to ever get 43, obviously, or 42, I should say. Um, probably not 43 either, but... So that it's just like a limited... It's just a limited amount of stuff I'm really ever going to realistically play for, I think. Okay. Um, Sayonara asked, do the splits from emulate lag accurately? As far as I know, it is perfect, or very close to perfect. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Uh huh. Because I mean, all that. I mean, the 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 actual functions it's 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 executing are like extremely simple. It's just you know <clears throat> printing yeah. numbers pretty much. So um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, and I'm not even I'm not a expert on on how they work. I I think the amount of if it uses like more memory or something to to save the splits i don't think it's really a factor yeah because i mean it's literally just what a few numbers 
So yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that I'm sure that that's not a great deal. Um. Okay. So um. Uh, this um. So having spoken about your grind at this point, I want to speak to you about a, a little bit more about about strats then. Um. Uh. We when we spoke about the well. I, I don't know. I was asking about those grinds. Are there any new strats that you are kind of like keen to try out? Because I mean, you were saying that's much more your thing than strats are more your area than uh, OCB. It's kind of how you described it. Yeah, I thought maybe. I kind of thought that. Um... For a while, I, I was thinking I would try the new um, control strategy, uh, which I did try it a little bit. Uh, it was it's it's fun. It's it's kind of harder than the the ending is much harder with the new strategy. So, and I probably would not do that unless you were actually going to go for 355, because uh, I think 356 is probably easier with the old strategy. I'm guessing, or maybe, or maybe 356 is the cutoff. But anyway, so. But other than that, I haven't really. I don't really have interest in the new Aztec strategies. Putting in that much like time and to just get a, a rare run. Um, would you would so you say really... you think you'll always be an agent rather than a seeker or a doubler? Probably, yeah. I like. I think the agent. I'm more. The agent levels are maybe a little bit more. Um, well, one they're easier usually, but. Um, they're also a little bit more fun in a way, but yeah. maybe I think people might disagree with that, depending on how good you are at the different skill sets that it takes. Yeah, I would say that, you, I mean, uh, I, I've seen what you're able to do on caverns, and um, I don't know, so I guess some people are just good at uh, uh, shorter levels. I mean, in, um, incidentally, I guess I guess I should ask, um, I did message you before the... Uh, 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 your Akeem mate chat, <clears throat> and you were saying he didn't contact you at all um, for uh, for the runway grind. Have Have you spoken at all, like since like since since then, since he got the twenty one? Yeah. Nope, yeah. never talked to him at all. Uh -huh. Really, especially not about yeah, not never asked me anything about runway, and so that was. I don't think I think that's pretty rare that somebody would go that route and put it and like just get it on their own kind of um, so that's cool I don't personally myself I, I probably I'm sure I would have reached out and asked a question but it's so it's that's that's a cool trait to just do it yourself mm -hmm. yeah I remember you, you, you said to me that like you, you knew that he he'd get some sick world records um, yeah, because of that, and you were definitely right. Yeah, yeah, right away I thought that because that's very, that was very surprising to me. I mean, even I asked I I asked boss some questions too, um, when I was working on things. Mostly like I was asking about the the double hut boost and stuff. Um, just just different things. So yeah, yeah. Um. So and so, what, what do you make of his um? Uh, well, uh, not one. I was going to say, what do you make of his, you know, play since then? Like, actually, specifically, I mean, what was your reaction to the, when the twenty-seven came out? Twenty-seven, I was surprised by, not not because it, like, it. I knew it was possible because I had played for twenty-eight for a little while and then quit on that. Um, but you can. It's like if you play for twenty eight, you can t you can see that you you can pace twenty seven, but it means that you have to be fast and then also kind of press B pretty early. I had a couple on the plane. I had a couple. Um, I think I had a couple runs that I thought were going to complete, and I tried to do a quick B press on the plane so that I could get twenty seven if they did complete, and then they never did complete so maybe I gave up a 28 here here or there by doing that I'm not sure but um that was kind of surprising because I didn't I thought that if I got 28 I would not keep going for 27 uh, I was just going to try to 
hopefully land on it and then and that would and then if not then not because i didn't think anybody else would really play for 27 either but then he kept going after he got 28 so yeah that's kind of his mindset i guess do you, uh how long do you reckon 27 could remain on tide for with the rate that people are yeah with the rate, with the rate that people are playing um double O with that strategy probably it could go a long time because 28 itself stayed untied for a while and um it, i think the main reason is because people are just not interested in in playing that strategy yeah yeah yeah, yeah makes sense i mean people people don't like playing the level in general pretty much beyond the yeah. tank beyond the tank strat and that and that's kind of like the the least liked of already disliked uh yeah strategies yeah so yeah that makes sense yeah 20 no, 27 is a good time it's not i'm not saying it's like it's not just because people aren't playing it it's also it's also a, a good time so i think it could stay untied for a while what did you make of his 21 i think his 21 is I think it's a it's still a very high quality run. I mean, it kind of has to be. I I kind of wondered how when when he got it, how many similar runs did he have? Because I had a lot, and I just wondered because that could kind of help solve the mystery of like how how um, how low lag of a run do you need to get it? Yeah. But yeah, it was it, it's a it's a solid run. Um, should watch it again real quick to see if there's anything that is. I remember when I saw it, I remember thinking that it was very similar. To you look to mine. Um, his hut might be a little faster, and then the juggles. I think both of our juggles are pretty close to optimal. And you can see that when their grenades are falling, they it's like it's a straight, straightforward boost, and that's really the key. Yeah, his look his looks really good too. So, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be a little faster than mine to, because of the hut, I think. Mm -hmm. Also, I think he wiggles around a little bit less than I did on mine. Like he had better, he might have had better grenade um, lights or whatever you'd whatever you'd call it. Mm -hmm. They seem to line up a little bit better than mine did. Uh, I I also happen I also happen to know that like you um uh, uh you do have an idea for uh, runway twenty six um. Uh, how if, if you if you if you had to guess, would you think it's do you think it's do you think, do you think it end up being viable or not? So I have we'll do another breaking news on on a new strategy here, but it's not it's not actually that that shocking. But I think there's two th maybe there's two things. One is that um, I have heard, and I don't have PAL, but I've heard that on PAL you can actually get like a super far lean sometimes oh. i don't know if you can control that so it's possible you might be able to hit the drones from way farther away but then just normally um the thing that i was trying for a little bit was on the left drone to do a duck lean which would allow you it's the duck lean is not it's not because it lets you throw it much farther it does go a little bit farther but it's because it goes way higher which means you don't have to prime it for as long and um you can prime instead of for multiple seconds you just barely prime it all and then you throw it and the grenade is going so high and then coming down that by the time it hits drone height it, it's you barely had to prime it at all for it to explode at the right time so that was my idea for for and i was doing this back when i was going for 28 actually i thought well what if i could get 27 easier or even 26 and I so I tried it for a little bit it is much harder to hit the left drone but it does work I don't know if it overall if it would work out though because it kind of messes up your placement a little bit for hitting the next one and you also have to crouch of course which slows you down so it's I think it I think it's worth exploring but it's um TBD if it saves enough time to make 26 possible or not yeah it's, it's, it's a shame Ted's uh, Ted going to bed um, yeah, yeah, I'd be very interested to, uh, yeah. to see what he thinks of that, or if he could whip, whip up a task or something like that. Um, but yeah, but that's that, that's not something that you're 
that you're playing for or thinking of playing for? No, definitely not playing for it. Um, I don't know if I'll ever try to improve my runway double O time to, because it's it's possible, but not something that's really on the radar. I don't think. Is caverns pretty much the only thing that you're even really considering at the moment? Uh, for the most part, yeah, I would say I would say yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, I've got a, a few more more uh, uh, general questions that I feel like would be uh, will, will be worth asking. Um, uh, do you remember any particular? Is there a particular run that stands out as um, being uh, really inspirational to you? I think it the best run I think ever is uh, Facility 42. And I think that's because not only is it like a high quality run, um, but also I th think Facility just in general is kind of like the best embodiment of golden ice, uh, especially speedrunning. Maybe that's because in the invincibility cheat was always kind of like the most speedrunny kind of cheat to get yeah. back in the day. But for whatever reason, I think just for this facility has such an all-around level and the 42 is my favorite run. Uh -huh. um, you put it above um, uh, Train and Silo. Well, yeah, and, for, and, for me yeah. personally, yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, was there any particular point at which... Because um, you were... Uh, you were speaking a lot about the uh, strategies necessary for uh, Runway 21, but... Presumably, at some point, you must have realized that it was going to take a really high skill run, uh, like uh, to to be able to get that. You didn't really mention much about how your skill developed over the uh, uh, over the runway grind. I don't know if you'd be able to speak to mm -hmm. that at all. Yeah, I I don't have a good overall skill set for Goldeneye. I have really just specialized in a few different levels. And that's kind of how I've, it's probably not the optimal way to, to go about it for somebody who wants to get a lot of points because you, I don't really have interest in playing all the levels really. I just want to play certain ones that I like. So I think that's, for Runway, I got very good at the hut and the juggling and everything. Um, so when I went to, I did, I tested um, SA21 for a little bit. Um, which I agree with um, Joaquin's uh, assessment that well he he said I think five thousand hours is what he guessed I when I I made a little thing where I guessed the percentages of each thing lining up and I thought it would be about ten thousand hours so it's not real it's not a realistic yeah that, that was yeah, going to happen I don't think you, but I was going to when I, yeah so when I was playing that um, the difference like when I got SA twenty two the first time. I think it took me 30 or 40 hours or something like that. And when I started playing it again, after I got 21, I was getting them like every 15 minutes. So, wow. so that's about how like just focused on runway skills I had, but didn't necessarily get that much better at the rest of the game, I wouldn't say, because the runway skill set is not like, it's kind of different. Can you take me through that 10,000 hours figure? Yeah, I think it's so. What you need the, the biggest thing is you need two boosts at the end for uh, SA21, two guard boosts after the battery throw. So that's very rare, and I think that only comes around about once every ten or twenty hours, I think. Yeah. And so you need that to line up with basically a perfect hut to line up with hitting all four of your juggles which on SA is very hard to do. And so just all those things together, um, they kind of exponentially push that time out of reach, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So I, I've only got 23 on SA. So tell me how, um, what, so for getting four juggles, 
would be yeah. uh, generally like very difficult. Like, how many would you expect to get on average? I think. Well, how often could you get all four? All four, they have to be also very clean, or else you're going to get killed from the explosion damage. So, and they have to be clean anyway because you need them to be basically perfect. Mm -hmm. I think, I th I would say maybe you might get one of those every couple hours, maybe. Okay. Maybe 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 once per hour if you were really dialed in. I don't think it's going to be. It's going to be still pretty rare, and then that is also happens to be that needs to be the run where you get the two guard boosts after the battery throw. Um, but it's just it's just going to be a ton of a ton of repetitions. And to what extent do you, do you, well do you feel as though I know the ceiling for getting the uh, four nade juggle could be made any more consistent? Like yeah, or, it's or, possible. Yeah. But I don't know. It's it's uh that they the flight itself is different. It like it's it's ran, a little bit random. So there's as far as I know, not really a great way to control it. I use the joystick. Um, in like you can adjust how much lookup pressure you're putting on the stick when you throw it. That'll kind of adjust how far the grenade goes back behind you a little bit. So you can control a little bit but it still goes side to side and it's still also a little bit random too um, front to back so you don't always you don't really have control over whether you're going to hit you have more control on agent because you can hit them closer to you and not and not get killed by them but on secret agent they kind of have to all be perfect and you can't really influence that too much so Just so, a little, so a little bit. if 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 someone was to grind um uh if someone were to try and grind agent hitting the bat, but hitting the battery throw, a twenty-one mm -hmm. would be more viable there than on essay. Yeah. Oh, and, well, yeah. And sorry, I mean that, that, that like that, that's obvious. But um, uh, how much more viable do you think that do you think that would be? It's actually pretty easy to hit the first four on agent. So I don't think, but you can't get the ending two guard boost though. So, uh, yeah, um, that's true. Yeah, yeah you'd have to simulate that somehow, but okay. uh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay, yeah, you do need you, you, yeah, you're just never going to get those on agent, and um, so I guess yeah, it wouldn't point. be possible. Okay, um, okay, um, uh, I don't have my list of what I asked uh, Joachim, so I'm gonna try and um, I'm gonna try and remember what I said. So, I asked <clears throat> about um. Uh, a 4-0 essay, uh, and you, you both said that's um, that's uh, that's possible. Yeah. Um. Um. And I, I feel like I asked. Um, oh, it, to what extent it, it could potentially be possible in in 1.2? Um, could could what could what be possible? Uh, 1. Could 20, 22 be possible? Not not the 4-0, but 22. Well, if you mean like a look down twenty two or just any twenty, I mean, has twenty has has has, 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 has twenty two been done in one point two? Yeah, that's a good question because I guess not, but certainly it is possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I was gonna say like look down SA twenty two in one point two would be probably impossible, maybe. But definitely just a twenty-two, yeah, certainly possible with one point two. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um. So uh, here's another question for you. So what? What do you? Oh, we sign has got one. Um, is your controller as a standard OEM, or do you have a steel ball? Yeah. No, it's just a regular, just regular everything. I um, nothing special. How would you rate your speaker out of ten? The one I used for runway was probably uh, that was a pretty good one, probably like eight and a half or nine at the time. So, um, yeah, I, I was gonna ask, um, what, what 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 do you feel are your uh, strengths as, as a player? I think I have a lot of. I think I have a lot of patience for, for uh, if I'm gonna commit to to something, I think that I, 
if I think that I'm going to do it, like if I commit to it, and I know that this is what I'm committed to, then I don't have too much of a of a problem just um, continuing right. something that might be boring. Yeah, but um, besides that, so I guess just mindset maybe, but, but certainly not like uh, I'm not skill set wise or anything like that. I don't think. Uh, is, a, is a strength. So, so what? So what? 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 What for you is the key to a good mindset? Or and 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 conversely, what do you feel? I think just the having of a bad mindset. Well, it's easy to get if you're not getting. I feel like maybe it helps that I don't really consider playing for points at all. Um, so it's it's really. It's easy to get overwhelmed if you have too many, just too many pieces on your times page. You got to clean up this and get this, and the and it's. I don't. No, I don't want us to start feeling like a job mm -hmm. um, that I'm having to. You know, well, I've got to spend the next three months going through these, 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 and these. It's like if I am interested in something, I'll play for it, and if not, then I won't. I still want it to be. I'm, I'm not playing for for anything other than just fun basically yeah so i think that helps mm -hmm. mm. uh and one and, and, and yeah and um, i guess that makes sense for you just saying that uh i tend not to get bored but i mean if you pick levels that uh yeah. that you like then i'm sure that i'm sure that help, helps a great deal yeah and i'm also not and, I, and i'm not i don't really have interest in streaming either I, I don't not to say that like if you stream you might you might feel like you have to continue and just keep it keep it up so that you're you, you know you keep going and you're on maybe end up doing something that you're not that interested in for the sake of the stream mm -hmm. um i think that might be a trap that i could see potentially falling mm -hmm. into a few so I've, i basically don't don't stream play what i want and that that's pretty much it i ha i have seen you you uh, you, uh, you stream before yeah but it's not yeah, I'm not, but I'm not really like trying to build a stream of, or anything like that. So, uh -huh. well, I mean, you, I remember the stream that I remember was you were basically just doing like calf splits testing. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. not gonna build an audience. Yeah. yeah. Mm, would, would you would you say that um, if uh, mindset is more important than skill? For, um, yeah, probably. Game. I think yeah. so. Yeah, because other other than. Yeah, I def definitely actually now that I think of it. It's um you can you can always get better at skills. And even if you're not naturally as good as uh somebody else, uh, I still think yeah, mindset is probably the 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 key. It's interesting you say that because you say oh you can always build you can always build like new skills. So like that like that kind of suggests that you know um like building or well, cultivating good skill is um, a more straightforward process than cultivating a good mindset. Yeah, maybe, and it's also it's it's the mindset that you have. If it's for, I guess if if you haven't, if you're not being conscious about why you're you're doing something, and you just are repeating you know, uh, a level over and over again, not really enjoying it, not not really thinking about it. Like, you, you it's probably also going to, even if you're a good player, it's, you know, it's just, you're, it's just going to take you longer to get the time anyway. So I think, and you might not notice different things that you could otherwise notice if you were really interested in the level. So, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I just think it's, it's just, um... Well, it's important to have a good mindset. It's just in general, I think. If, you, one if you're of more interested things, in something, you're going to be better at it. One of the things you mentioned there was like um, being able to like notice, um, you know, like notice what, what what you're doing wrong. I feel like that's definitely something that that the best that I I see in the best players. They'll they'll just notice things I just do not notice at all. Mm -hmm. um, and just like having an having having an eye for that is. Um, um, I see. It, it, I say it seems to make a massive difference. Mm. When when you go into a, a like a, 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 a big grind like uh, well, Bromway in particular, um, were you kind of 
like, and like how how prepared were you, like from the get go, just were you, for how long it could potentially take? Were you thinking to yourself, yeah, like this could, yeah, this this could and probably will take years. Um, yeah. Yeah. How is that? I thought, yeah, I thought it would. Because for the most of for the most uh, part of it, I was not really do even doing runs to try to actually get 21 I was really just you know experimenting with different things so that's a lot more casual and it's not really a grind you just do things here or there the actual grind part I don't really have a high I'm not gonna grind a lot um, because of I don't really have that many hours to play I don't feel like um, it's gonna and like I said it's gonna cut into sleep and stuff so um, I, w I think I probably would have gone, if I said that it took three or four weeks to get it after I started really playing, I probably wouldn't have gone past three months. Yeah. And then I just would have probably released the strategy. Yeah. yeah. Because I, w I would have just said, all right, like, if I can't get it in three months, then that means it could take a year. So I, but I, I, I had in my mind that it should take a month or less based on kind of like what I, how I thought, how often you could get a, a run that could work. So, and, I, and that's a month or less playing like two to three hours, maybe, you know, however many times a week. So I didn't think that it should take longer than that. And if it was going to take longer than that, then maybe I was wrong. And maybe it, maybe it, it was harder than I thought. So I, I kind of get a little bit of, um, uh, th there are almost like two sides. Uh, when like when you describe when you describe this kind of grind, on the one hand you're like, yeah, I, I really feel you say, oh, I really feel that, yeah, I, the the way I the way I was grinding like wouldn't have been like sustainable like in 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 the long run, and it was like cutting into sleep and it would have been difficult. Like yeah. the way, when you describe it like that, it it sounds kind of grueling. But then yeah. on the other hand, uh, you you've also described it as. Um, you say, "Oh, like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at being, being patient with these levels. I, uh, with this yeah. level, I enjoy the level, and um, I, I find it, I find it quite relaxing. So, yep. um, yeah, I don't. I could, I, so, and that, yeah, that might sound like it doesn't fit, but I think it's because when I was, the runway strategy was not known, and it was something that I felt like I had to get it." quickly or else I shouldn't keep the I just shouldn't keep the strategy secret and then not be playing for it basically like you can't figure out the strategy to this level and then not be actively playing for it and just keep the strategy a secret um, forever so if I was gonna if I was going to like for, for caverns I could just play that if 100 never happens I could just keep playing it for you know, however many, however many years into the future, mm -hmm. uh, I, I feel like I wouldn't, I would just keep playing it, but I wouldn't be under the pressure of like, I have to play this many hours oh, and per so, day and, and until I get it. Yeah. That's why, that's why you, you, you pushed yourself in the way that you did before. Yeah. I just, I just felt like it was like, I've, I'm not, I, I was pretty sure that this was going to work. And if it didn't, um, then that could mean that it it might have been, you know, like instead of this many hours, it might be ten times more because I I missed something, and then um, like maybe I should I'm I'm not going to be doing this this schedule of playing for the next year, so uh, you know then it's just time to release the strategy because right. I'm not going to keep it secret for like five years until I get it playing, playing rarely, you know? So, so, and when I feel like there can be, there can be, there can be two, well, I can imagine it, it could have gone in, in, in two different directions. On the one hand, I can imagine it being like, oh man, like, like, I've, uh, I've, I've just, I've just, I've just got to get this. Cause I mean, like there are, there are definitely some players, <clears throat> you know, that I've seen who, um, <clears throat> but like when they're really putting, putting everything into a time, it, it's almost as if, you know, I don't know, like, th there are definitely players who, when you see them going for a time, it's almost as if, like, that 
the time is like stressing them out that they don't have it already. Yeah. Um, um, w w w was it like that? Because I can imagine it going in that direction, or I can imagine it potentially going in the direction of you know, you you you. The way you describe it is that you had this real kind of singleness of purpose about you, and then you know that kind of thing is. Um, um, I don't know. It, like it may, maybe it sounds kind of ridiculous in this context, but I always really liked the the, the Nietzsche quote that he who has a why can bear almost any how, and it was like that. Um, I can also imagine potentially going the other direction where you, you had such a singleness of purpose and you just had this um, this like drivenness that um, it was uh, that it wasn't necessarily grueling for you. It was just. Um, no, you it wasn't. Doing what you needed to do, like where, where in that balance, like did where it was actually for. I would say, I mean, every time I played, knowing knowing the strategy, I was it was exciting to play for it because I f always felt like this will be, like it's it's imminent and it's going to be happen very soon. Um, but then, if that was if that turned out to be not true then that would have been different. It would have been, then I would have had to reevaluate a little bit, but luckily that wasn't the case. But I think that that's all it is. It's, it's just, um, part of me thinking I had it figured out was that I also had figured out how long it was going to take. So yeah, if I, if I was wrong about that, then I might've, might've been wrong about uh -huh, okay. the strategy, the strategy itself too. And, and you feel like you were pretty, pretty, uh, accurate with that prediction. Yeah, I think if you are very good at the juggle and you're very good at the hut, um, or I guess a better way to put it, how often could you dupe the time once you get it? I think you could probably do it. I don't think it would take, it, it would probably be less than, I'm going to say less than 50 hours. For, for the, wow, okay. Per, per, per time, yeah. Yeah. Um... Like, but it I, takes time to it takes time to build. I had the the advantage of through all this testing, like I was already getting dialed in with all this all the different pieces of it, so that by the time I started the actual runs, I was already already like practiced up. I guess if you were starting from scratch, it would obviously prob most likely take longer than that. But yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, um. Uh, last question I got here is why why I usually ask um, usually ask at the end is that if there's if there's someone in if there's someone in in if, I, if there's someone lurking in chat who uh, is uh, was super inspired by like Romeo twenty one and is looking at you know the Asian times and just uh, and just thinks to himself yeah you know what I want to do I want to go for a, a streets one eleven I'm uh, sorry a, a streets one ten um, or uh, and a cabins one or something like that. <clears throat> like to a new player like that, what uh, what kind of advice would you give the next bug? Yeah, I would say pick something that's that you enjoy, and it might help depending on what your mindset is to pick something where you can. There's still room to figure out a little bit more optimization. So streets, yeah, you you probably could. There's probably something. Um, but I think like caverns, there's still, there's still stuff that could be figured out there. Um, and maybe, is that about it? Yeah. I don't know. The rest of this, the agent times are pretty. Or like, like cradle, for like cradle 32. Or cradle. Like... Yeah. Cradle. Yeah. Um, something where there's maybe a little bit different of a way to do it that you could then kind of commit to that and improving what's known instead of just copying uh, if there was already a like i think probably caverns is the best example because you could find time saves i think I, I still think you can and you could find better ways to do different sections kind of the more you play it and i think you can specialize in in that level because it's really just it's just knowing the lines and um a lot of the other agent levels are maybe a little bit too if there is an untied possible, it's it's probably like Depot Twenty Two. I don't really know what you're going to specialize in on that level, other than just hitting the warps. But um, caverns, you can kind of like make it a, a kind of a a project almost. Uh, At least that's how I feel about it. 
Well, and, 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 and to ask the question more generally, if, they, if they're just someone thinking, man, uh, I just really want to get good at this game and I really want to get sick times, uh, what advice would you give, would you give that player? It's probably a trade. You probably have to pick a trade off of whether you're going to go for extreme times or uh, extreme points, point rankings. Like if you want to be top ten, but you also want to get a ton of really great times, it's probably going to take way longer. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of just depends on your goal. I think I've always. If you want to, really... if you want to be a grind monkey or a point monkey. Yeah, yeah. So I think. It's probably just varies person to person what they are more interested in. But I think the main, the key thing to do what you're more interested in, and then don't worry about whatever the other thing is. Uh huh. I've got that from uh, uh, quite a few players from doing um, for, like for, for, from doing mate chats. But then having done the mate chats and kind of speaking about this, I've just I've spoken to more people on Discord about it as well. And just and there's so much of the advice is um, is like. Play, is actually play what you enjoy. Yeah, it's a game after all. It's not a job. Uh huh. That's good. That's a good way of putting it. I think. Um. Uh. That's a nice. That's a, That's a nice place to end. I think that's that's yeah. probably like really good advice for uh, people in general. It's a game, not a job. Um. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was it was uh great to talk with you. It was a pleasure. And, uh, yeah. Again, I think this is a great. You're doing a great job with with the May chat, so yeah, hats off. Cheers, man. Oh, and uh, actually, no. Before I let you go, actually, I should I should give chat to uh, an opportunity to ask any final questions before you go. I do see there is one from Sayonara. Um, have you have you considered oh. doing a hut tap? Um, honestly, I have not, but maybe I would. I don't know. It's there's a. There's probably not too much really. There's not. It's. It would be a very short one. I'll put it that way. It's. Uh, it's more about like getting the muscle memory down of of going to the right lines, just reflexively than anything else. Uh, there's not. It's not too much. That could. I have to say, thinking about it, I think that that could actually potentially be a really good uh, t tutorial, because like everybody always, it always says, oh, you, like. You got to work on your heart. Yeah, but, that's the most important. Yeah, yeah. But like, but I know. Just you say it'd be a short tutorial. I think just a short tutorial would be really helpful, to be honest. Yeah. Um, like one that would only be like a, a few minutes long or something like that, rather than, you know, you know, one of these twenty-minute ones or something like that. Just having like, a, a, just having a, a reference, I think, could potentially be really, really useful to to newer players. So I'm, I don't know, throwing that out there. Yeah, good idea. I'll consider it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, well, I want to say cheers to Sayonara for hanging out as well. Um, uh, I know the questions have, have always been very, always been very astute and appreciated. Um, uh, so the best he's ever done is a, a 10.95. What were you saying was um, necessary for 21? 10 point. 10.65 would probably be a good target. I think, well, for tw I mean, for 20, 10.7 is, 10.75 or, or lower would probably be good for SA22, is, is mm -hmm. what I think. And what, what were you, you saying? You can consistently, you can consistently rep out 10.7s, like, without too much, you know, if you try to go a lot faster than that, you're going to be losing some runs because you're going to be missing the key and stuff like that, but... Yeah, ten seven or so. I think you can that you can get very consistent at that pace. Is that is that is that ten seven flat or ten seven x? Yeah, ten, I'd say ten seven five or so probably. What were you saying was your um, uh, was your fastest? I think I said ten four. I think I said ten four nine, but it might actually be ten four eight. I'm not real. It's it's under ten five, is the fastest ever. But I've, that's that's only going to be on a super low lag run. And it's not repeatable. Uh huh. Well. With Sayonara, you've had ten point four flat. No, oh wait, no, no, no. Okay, got you, got you. Okay. Yeah. Uh. 
Well, yeah, yeah, that, lo um, that, lo um, that looks like it. Um, thank you, um, thank you once again, dude. Like, I, re I really appreciate you. Uh, um, I really, really appreciate you coming on, like, uh, and and <laughs> talking about runway so much. I know. Uh, can you believe it? I I not, no, I won't mention it again forever. Uh, it's all, all good. All good. Um, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so all I can say is, yeah, yeah. Cheers, cheers to everyone in chat. Um, cheers, uh, cheers for all the questions and comments. Um, and yeah, um, uh, have a uh, have a good rest rest of, your, rest of your weekend, dude. And I hope at some point I'll see you uh, and a grown in cabins again. But we shall see. Hopefully one day soon. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Thanks Go again. On, dude. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, man. All right. Bye. In a bit.